coffee is ready. So will I be. 30 seconds. What's up, everybody? How are you guys doing? Oh man! Oops, wait a minute. I gotta, I gotta do something before I crank away on my session here. Turn the volume down. As a matter of fact, I can just stop this. Boink. There we go. That works for me. And now I'm back to the game. There we go. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Uh, Paper Cloud. Oh, cool. I'm glad you came here. First timer. Hey, uh, Kairu, how are you? Back like usual. So stoked to see you. Burning Night, what's up? Sign of Insanity. I'm glad that uh, you were able to make the uh, stream as well as Dyslexic Civilian. Oh my God. It's my life story. You guys see how many typos I make and I read something and I say it backwards. Ugh. Uh, so, you know, what are you going to do? Hey, Cycloid, how's it? Jack Zera, Skippy 99 or or Skip, yeah, Skippy 99 or <laughs> Yep. Um, happy Saturday to you too. I really appreciate that. I um, I did decide to go a little earlier. Wait, let me do some here. I did decide to go a little earlier than normal. And um, that is because of I kind of Miscalculated daylight savings day. So, hey, look, I fixed my sign. Get it? Mind your own business. Very bad. Very bad. But um, oh, I got to watch out now. These guys are spawning. So, stand by for a second. I got to see where they're at so they don't blow me away. I got to get back to my house. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so I've been just uh, doing my thing, getting my ducks in a row, spending a little time here on the Minecraft. And, <coughs> excuse me. And getting blown up severely because um, I've been trying to do some really cool things, which I'm going to show you as soon as I can get back into my house. And so uh, I. Wait a minute. Let me see something. All right. I hear music. Stand by for a second. I see where these guys are. I got to stay away from Arrow, dude. Oops. Yeah. He's, oh, he's already on me. Look, I put a fence. Oh, close, dude. Ha ha. You should suck. Yeah, you miss. Goofball. Ooh. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing a lot of mining, uh, but I have, uh, I have a pretty crazy couple of weeks coming up ahead of me so I'm, I'm gonna actually be slowing down just a little bit on the channels not on the stream though the streams only twice a week right so that's kind of cool so let me show you guys around really quick um, well let me, yeah let me show you what I've done lately let me put this on here so look I learned how to make um, these little picture thingies um, and look, 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 look. I made these picture things. I took, I uh, ditched the torches, learned how to make lanterns. See? How's that? Pictures. Went a little nuts on the pictures. More pictures. Um, look at this. I, you know what? I couldn't find tables or anything, so look. I put one of these little tables in a picture and a lantern. And I don't know what the name of these blue guys are, but I found them uh, when I fell off the boat and almost got killed. Monkey died dead by some weird looking things down there. But so I'm trying to figure out a way to make a house look like a house. But, you know, there isn't I can't think progressively quite yet, I think, um, with the game. And then up here, check this out. Ready? Dun, 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 dun. I got a library. Look, I got a picture. I got a little library. <laughs> I got a. I learned how to dye. Uh, use use flowers and dyes and stuff. So, um, oh, fence posts and slabs on top of tables that works too. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, just kind of doing, you know, my little. Thing. And also, like I said, get rid of the torch. Put the lantern here. Not too sure I'm in love with that yet. Um, I'm, I got to learn how to build a candle. 
I guess the finding the honeycomb uh, using the little campfire I think and you have to wait until the bees uh, oof, it's it's a little bit it's a bit much but um, you can place those stairs upside down and make tables too oh oh you can place stuff on top oh, okay good thank you for that um, I got all excited about bottles and bowls you know that they had there but apparently you can't set those bowls or bottles off they're just to drink or something or, or whatever right I mean something like that um, so um, unless there's a hack you know which would be great so well let me go to sleep really quick let's do a daytime walk and then let's go ahead and listen to some music <clears throat> ah all right Man, there's a ton of those guys lately. I guess the more that I'm getting deeper or better or picking up things, the more of these guys geek out on me, man. It's just nasty. Yeah. And I actually had um, an Erderman, uh, the, the skinny, long, tall thing that bounces around like that, actually spawned in my house, and the door was closed. I was outraged. I don't know, maybe I left something creeping open. So let's make sure everybody's kind of gone. All right, let me show you what else I've done. And then we'll go listen to some music. Whoa! Negative. Oh, man! During the daytime, even? What the hell? Don't you guys ever go away? Take a break? So anyhow, um, I put a fence and expanded my garden, or my farming. So I did that. Uh, I straightened out outside a little more. I put more lanterns outside, as you can see. So that's super cool beans. Um, I, I started a bamboo patch over here for future use. And I got to grow sugar cane for more papers. Yeah, so I can roll papers, rolling papers for my library. <laughs> um, what else did I do here really quick before, I can, before we go listen to some music? Yeah, board. Oh, yes, I learned that about the sword. I hit bamboo by accident, and the whole thing came tumbling down. I don't know quite yet what to do with bamboo, um, but um, what else? Uh, if you could see, you see that long stick my, my plus sign is pointing at? That's where I went way, way back there, and you guys taught me that every so often I should set like a really tall something and put a torch on top of it so that if I get lost, especially close to night, I know where to go. You have no idea how many times that lighting system helped me. And um, let me see if there's anything else I need to show you before we go do our first song. No, nope. that's it. Well, I'm going to hide in the house, so close the door, and then we'll go do our first uh, OST. Oops. Sorry, I started reading comments, and this guy was creeping on me. So hang out for a second. All right. Well, let me show you one thing. I, I do want to show you one thing before we go do an OST. Let me just show you, like you can see I built chests and you're gonna have to forgive me, my chests are not really that well organized. It started out to be like, here were like all of my, look, look what I mined guys. I got a lot of stuff I think. I don't know what to do with it, but I got all kinds of stuff. And then when I had an abundance of stuff, I made more than I needed to. Like for instance, I got think too many swords and whatever. But I, you know, got a ton of charcoal and all kinds of stuff. And uh, let me see what else do I got here. Um, here is the wood stuff. So you can see um, I got all kinds of wood stuff ready to go. Once again, don't know quite what I'm doing with it. But I, I, I somehow kind of figured, and the cobblestone, just... This was my cobblestone chest. It's just, you got to do something with that stuff. And then here's what I call my cup of cake chest. Look at this stuff. Woohoo! I got outfits. It looks like an S&M kind of a thing. Look, there's chains and outfits and whips and stuff. <laughs> so, I got all this stuff. Um, and then, finally, this is my overflow chest. You know, which I think I should put some stuff in there right now. I got the gold axe, golden apple, some golden nougat. Um, let me just drop some iron in there. 
I want to keep I realize I want to keep my shears with me at all times because you never know when you I learned that you cut the vines and then I could reuse the vines or the section or the little glowy vine or glowy like you go down into the caves and there's these like little patches of ivy that glow and you can cut those I don't know where to use them I tried to use it in here as decorative but it won't glow if there's a light on like a lantern so that was kind of a moot point or as Dr Choi Tribbiani would say it's a moo point <laughs> all right let me uh, move over here real quick take a look at my house We're looking good it looks good outside nice three-headed picture it's kind of Pink Floyd looking right there isn't it I didn't paint it just came that way it's got kind of this Pink Floyd vibe all right here we go guys I I'm going to switch to uh, before now before I go to um, uh, listen to our first OST and song I did have somebody say that how do we suggest and it's kind of a rando thing here at on uh, twitch um, I know that more and more people are coming over from uh, the heavy metal channel which is great because there's also a lot of heavy metal gamers and so um, I'm thinking of maybe sometime next week, I'm actually gonna do one show here that's strictly for my Decomposer Lounge and maybe do a complete album, re uh, al <coughs> album review. Um, so I'm sure that'll be a wild moment uh, in, in my world. Uh, but for right now, I'm just focusing on OSTs. I still drop, we'll, we'll probably listen to a couple of regular songs too on this uh, particular maybe uh, a little metal and a little pop but one of the reasons too that i wanted to get um on here a little earlier is i actually have to leave here by uh 4 45 my time so i mean like closing this up and going so so i'm here a little early um <coughs> uh do i upload oh well, first of all uh hey it's blaze x how's it thank you so much for your first comment um you know what i i I, I was thinking of always uploading all of these videos up into the YouTube channels, but I just think it's like a lot. I mean, people don't want to hear me yap all the time. <laughs> or maybe that'll be the format. Maybe I'll just kill two birds with one stone. I don't know. I'm still up in the air. I remember, I'm not a pro content producer, and I don't, you know, look at... I've been completely failing at algorithm, and, and I hate putting the term reaction or first time listening in the titles because of, you know, it plays the algorithm as people find you. I just, I just want a little coconut corner in the, inter, in the interweb so I can do this. But I'm thinking I might just, yeah, somebody just said I might just peel off and just do a VOD channel where it'll be the combo. I, like, I've already got enough channels. That's just kind of, you know, I guess it doesn't matter. I found out that Mr. Beast had a ton of channels before he's kind of consolidated a couple and some of the ones that are very well known. Um, and then some of my guys that I like to watch from the heavy metal channel, like Nick Nocturnal and Finn McKenty and Mike the Snob or Becoming the Mike, they have a channel that does Twitch clips or whatever. So I'm thinking that might be the call is um, maybe starting in April. I do two shows a week here. Of course, you guys get to be here for the show and, and nothing gets um, uh, audio blocked. When we're doing the show unfortunately if you know once i exported some you know some of that stuff will get audio blocked but i can always edit that stuff out anyhow um <sighs> hey thanks uncle boney <laughs> i appreciate that uh so um yeah that's my story so i think i'm going to do that starting in april plus <sighs> one of the I, I already mentioned this before on my stream <clears throat> but what I was doing before I did my first reaction is starting to come back now. Now that COVID is really relaxing a lot of or the education system is re relaxing a lot of their their standards. And a couple weeks ago, I did my first um, performance for kids, uh, fifth and sixth graders, 100 kids for health and, and bullying and stuff like that. And now it's starting to get around that I'm back doing my thing and charter schools are, get, are allowed now to call in and the people, the nonprofit, the nonprofit entity that I am attached to, it's a place called the Elks Lodge. Uh, 
legacy, old school kind of thing. No, it's not the Masons. No, it's not the the alumni, alumni, aluminate, alumini, aluminiums. But um, so they're going to start sending me out and, and and doing performances at schools a lot more, which means a lot less um, of what I do on my channels. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe we need to spread it out a little bit. <laughs> Aluminiumi, yes, aluminiumi. <laughs> mm. Hey, uh, Z uh, Zenomorph, I actually did high ren. That was an incredible, incredible track. It's on my heavy metal channel. It's called, um, uh, just look up on under Google, The Decomposer Lounge. And I actually only did it about two or three weeks ago, so you don't have to go that far back on it. So, Illuminati, that's what I meant. Yes, it's not an Illuminati thingy. <laughs> All right, guys, <clears throat> let's have ourselves a little bit of fun. Let me switch this over. Hey, Turnip Trader. Uh, here we go. Wait, wait. Ta-da. Yeah, green screen issues still, but yeah, what are you going to do, right? You know, I'm just... I uh, I ordered some lights. I realize I have to backlight my green screen a little differently. So, um, hey, Leverin, thanks for the follow. And so, um, yeah. Oh, I got some primes while I was here. Kakashi Flores. Kakashi Flores, number one. Thank you for the two months. I appreciate that. That's really cool. Thank you. So, anyhow. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I, it looks okay, but you know the top where my headset is? You see how that's kind of... You know? And on purpose, I wore this like super orangey shirt. So, uh, yeah. Okay, um, let me see now. Let's start firing the suggestions for the uh, first OST. Let's go with that. Leverenti Beer Le One, thank you so much. Pew, 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 here we go. Pew, 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 pew. Holy. Wait a minute, I gotta slow this down. How the frick do I slow this down? There we go. Oh man, it's flying, we're flying. Okay, it's been a while. Um, 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 uh, hey, Page Master. Uh, I was wondering where you can recommend starting when learning guitar. Actually, learning guitar on YouTube is really a super cool way to start. I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to answer this question really quick because I'm always a, a teacher, person of assistance first. You can always find the, the great basics with all styles of guitars on YouTube first. And then you can step into a teacher a little later. That's my thoughts on that. Okay. Um, oh, man, I'm bombed here. On the Titan. Oh, my goodness. Look at you guys. What is Goo Lagoon? Goo Lagoon? Is that the name of a... Um, BFBB Goo Lagoon? Let's take a look at that. Let's see what that's all about. Mm. Okay, what is Goo Lagoon? Is that an off-take on Blue Lagoon? Whoa. No. It's a SpongeBob thing? Oh, does SpongeBob actually have its own game? No way. Oh, my God. That's insane because I, when SpongeBob first came out, I was a massive fan. So much so that when I met my wife and the daughters were like eight and nine years old for my birthday it would be full Spongebob everything on my birthday you know they Spongebob lasagna Spongebob spaghetti and and Krabby Patty Patty duty cakes or something like that so epic then I made a really bad joke once and caught trouble for it what was it there was a girl walked by and I had said I said I said to I said to somebody I went oh look Spongebob Squarepants because she was wearing sweatpants and she had. <laughs> okay. That's funny, I know, right? <laughs> All right, let's get this thing going. All right, this is the very first time I've ever heard this, so this is going to be really exciting. Wait a minute, this is 30 minutes. Um. Which one should I be doing, guys? Because this first one is a 30-minute thing, and that's not happening. Um, this 302 one right here, I think. 
pick the second one, this one right here. Second one. Okay, guys, here we go. This is from uh, SpongeBob SquarePants uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom. <laughs> Waiting for Gidget. Oh. That's a too close derivative for me. Yeah, so Dick Dale. But they gave it that Monster Mash kind of vibe. Okay, yeah, we fully got the Dick Dale vibes, and that opening was way, way, way close, too close, to, too close to comfort for me. Like, like if I was what's uh, if I was the estate of um, oh god, da 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 I forgot. Was it Dick Dale that wrote that? Um, I I would have been leaning in and going, man, that's more than two bars of a melody that I'm like going, er, like I get what you guys are going for. That was really, really freaking close. And, but, and obvious, too. A matter of fact, I probably would have been a little distracted, you know, I, like when hearing this and wondering if I was listening to the same thing. If not, I understand using the same, you know, a derivative of, you know, the old 60s surf music kind of vibe. Um, but that, 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 woof, pretty close. And then they came in with, uh, and of course, the recording, they tried to keep it 60s sounding. You know the sound of the old ribbon mics and stuff like that and and even with the drums the drums sounded like this is like in the 60s you know drum kits were not mic'd like they were now are now so you know if it was an overhead and a kick and a snare or a mic in the middle kind of a thing they kind of kept that same vibe in there but the one thing that took me like I would, at least i kind of was like oh okay all right all right is the beat had that kind of monster mash beat you know, for those of you who remember that, uh, it's a monster mash kind of vibe. So, uh, <laughs> but it's great. But I, I was, I, I, that was a slight copyright cringe moment for me right there. <laughs> And the other thing is, is the purposeful lift in the in the bass line, where it isn't um, eighth notes that are running. So instead is, you know, they leave just the just the right amount of notes out before uh, Johnny Law comes down. Go, Frankie Avalon. <laughs> Come on.
and also using that really old school tremolo effect for the guitars with a really bad mono slap delay. That was a great way to start this uh, this little bit off here uh, tonight for you guys. That was really really super cool, and um, but like I said, it just it, it it the distraction for me was the fact that it sounded so close uh, to that uh, to the original song, you know. So once that once that happened to me, I got distracted. I think, you know, I. In, in a very odd way, I made a living off of sounding as close as possible uh, for, you know, film and TV source music. You know, that's the music where they're driving in a car, you know, two guys getting baked in the 70s and they turn on the, the radio and you hear what might be, Hey, hey, mom, I got a way you move, got a man, da, 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 But no, but then they couldn't afford that or Zeppelin wouldn't publish it, but they wanted that vibe. So instead of going, I might have gone, you know, <laughs> it's just like, it's a very fine line to walk, you know, but you know, what are you going to do? Uh, there, there's a reason why they want to push that envelope because of familiarity, without a doubt, you know. So that's, that's just the way it is. That's just how we go. Okay, guys, what's next? La la la. Let me see what I got here. Hmm. I don't know if I did this yet. Whoops. Nope, I don't recognize this. What is the Outlaws? Is that a video game? Or is that a movie? Uh, game. No, it looks like it says game soundtrack. How do you like that? Hello, hello, Troy Stodden. How are you? Welcome on board. It's a Western video game. All right. <laughs> Uh, but let's see what we got here. I'm fully down for it. Let's go. Oh, that low hum. It's my air conditioning shit. I forgot to turn it off. Ugh. You know what's beautiful about that piece is that as as close as authentic as they could get to it using indigenous percussive instruments um, and you know when you think of the Western at least in my branding of it as a human being uh, you're always thinking of the fiddle you know when when the guy stands up with the fiddle and he plays a single song or song with a single violin um, always very small and intimate little performances whenever you see any of the smoky westerns or or any of the remakes and stuff and there's always that one upright piano that's kind of out of tune 
But what's really super cool to me on this is the microtonal inf inflections, microtonal inflections on that. Uh, I don't know what kind of a flute it is. I know there are many different kinds of uh, wind instrument flutes that are carved from woods and uh, different uh, materials and stuff like that, and also cut in different keys as well. But that microtonal inflection of the flute kind of sneaking in and out of the pitch gives it so much emotion, especially this tempo. This tempo has got kind of like a meditative trance vibe to it. So if anybody plays this game, uh, it'd be interesting to know what's actually on gameplay while this piece of music's going. But I'm really, really digging this piece, man. I don't need to be... I'm not, I'm not a... a, a I'm not an impressed snob, you know. Uh, is that the right way to say it? I don't know how to say that. You guys help me figure out a way to say it. But it does. I, I, I'll listen. I, when I listen to music, I listen to music for the value of what it does to deliver to me. It doesn't have to be a bombastic, huge choir. I mean, a orchestral choral presentation. You know, it could be you know a mouth harp and a and a and a, and a spoon against a, you know a, an old scrub thingy. You know, but um, you know for me to feel it. You know. So let's keep going. Now we just went spaghetti western. Now they just went into this jazzy chord change. I'm like, what? What? Of course. You know what's great about this little journey here? Now, now we're hearing somebody had piped in and said, uh-oh, here comes the guitars. Yes, that lonely kind of strap, not even a strap, maybe, I don't know what guitar back, a telly, kind of a telly, lonely, mid-pickup range, you know, single note kind of playing with the guitar. You know, it's a, sign it's a signature branding of it, just like that whistling. And now, as well as when the acoustic guitar came in, what I love about the the... the technical decision of the engineer is that the mic for the guitar seems kind of far away from the guitar so that you get more uh, air moving in between the strings playing the sound into the mic so it sounds like it's being played slightly further away of course you can get that same effect pulling the faders back a little bit and setting uh, setting a a, uh, a zero pr uh, delay um, uh, in in a reverb and then rolling an ambiance with some kind of room ambiance. I don't know if I said that right. Something like that. But there's two guitars there. There's two strumming guitars there. So there's one that's slightly on this side that's holding a character pattern and then the one in the middle is a little more straightforward. But when the whistling came in, that's just the big close for me. As a matter of fact, this style of composition has been used in many different kinds of movies, not just westerns. Like for instance, this comes to mind automatically. I don't know if it was Gigantor or or giant robot or 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 Godzilla or something, but I can recall one of those old school anime uh, things when I was a kid, where maybe giant robot was about to, uh, or maybe Godzilla was about to kill one of the you know freaking three headed dragons or something, and they play the spaghetti western with a whistle. So that's that's my callback to it. <laughs>
without a doubt, this this piece of, of music was for me wonderful in the different elements they kept introducing and staying to the integrity of the Western theme. But without a doubt, my favorite part of it was the opening and the closing, just with the, the indigenous percussion. Um, you can, you know, it, it sounds like, since I don't know, I was in the session and I'm not an ethnomusicologist, so I don't know everything about music, but or anywhere near close, but you could just feel the hands against the skins on those percussions, the way they're being played, and kind of, you know, whenever you play any kind of percussion with your hands, there are different ways to mute and get different tones out of what you're playing. Um, and you could just feel that, as well as, I've said this many times before, uh, on uh, music I listen to that has a lot of woodwind and horn arrangements that are very obvious, um, that there's just something about the breath passing through an instrument to give us sound that is just really soul pulling. So that lonely, mysterious, you know, um, type of flute that was being played there. And at the very beginning, I didn't hear the violin come back in. At the very beginning, it sounded like there could have been a second arrangement flute just kind of dancing around in the background lightly. But hey, look, if this is a game piece of work, an OST, it was absolutely badass. And they didn't, they did not miss a single ounce of integrity uh, on 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 the composition in my little world of my opinion of for what that matters or means. Um, so let's do one more before I get back to some Minecraft. What else do we got here for you guys? Ah, let me see. Oh man, I literally, my, my chat just blows up. Okay, I haven't done, I've seen a lot of this and if it's the same person that keeps coming here and asking for this, hang on, let me, I, I think I need to get, get on this. Huh. Wow. There's a lot. Oh, uh, first of all, uh, stand by. I want to uh, thank really quick uh, um, Masa Munejik MC. <laughs> thank you so much for the uh, two month sub. I really appreciate that. I really, really do. Thank you so much. Um, okay. I I'm looking, guys. Okay, wait a second. Let's go on. All right. I've, I've heard this way too many times, and I've got, I don't think I've ever done anything here. So here we go, guys. Is that it? Anime di Japan. This is Japan. Okay, I don't. Um, so it looks like I'm doing something called Escalon from Bleach. And I guess Bleach must be, it looks like it is a. Um, an anime okay good that's fine by me uh, which one do I do uh, this one right here with all the faces guys let me know if that is uh, did yeah I have done one from bleach in the past I think that's all right uh, I'm good uh, la, 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 la. I that's where I think I recognize the name from but that's all right uh, we got time I'm gonna be doing good handful of stuff today but is is it this one right here that I'm playing the one with all the faces um, I don't know if this is it guys let me know yes that's the one okay thank you all right all right guys this is from an anime show called bleach and the name of it is Escalon visits theme song I guess they couldn't pronounce W, so they just decided to put V in there. I don't know. I'm just saying.
love that Moog lead. That's a mini Moog. total trip man that i mean they, they've been repeating the the phrase and it has like a spanish gypsy kind of vibe to it you know i'm not an aficionado i've already been flamed a few times by thinking that it was flamenco but it was not it was more of this and, and i'm used to that you know i make the mistakes and people who know they come and they check me on that and that's fine fortunately people have been nice about checking me uh, so that always makes it kind of fun and I'm the first one to say oh I don't know it sounded like it but it has been a little bit more of a, a gypsy flamenco kind of vibe to it but they've just been you know uh, repeating like a D minor a minor style kind of pattern but it's the strumming in the technique that's being used that lends itself a little more to that to me as far as I'm concerned and then they had that kind of uh, weird little this synthy jabby horn section in there that brought a little flavor of a salsa into it, it seemed like for me. And, uh, but that beginning, that um, I, somebody had mentioned uh, something about a theremin, and it did sound a little bit kind of like a theremin, but then, um, I, which I don't know a lot about that, but then I don't know that the theremin has the same range as like what I was hearing in that melody. And that sounded like an old school monophonic kind of um, mini moog kind of vibe, which is a synthesizer from way back in The Last Supper, but I, I super dig this. Modulation wheel, Kairu. more American jazz type playing. Well, this thing obviously went on for a little bit, and it was just that pattern that was just repeating and everything, but it makes for real fun. You know, uh, pieces of work don't have to have an insane amount of, um, you know, changes and sections, you know, from a B section verse to a, uh, you know, so this section of that section and all that like that. Sometimes you just kind of go with the grind. And as a matter of fact, there's a lot of composers that I've listened to uh, recently on video games where where I realize is part of the art form, I guess, is being a, compar a, poser for, a composer for a video game is to also establish a recognizable, you know, sometimes it's a, it's a le motif or a motif, uh, throughout different parts of the game in different types of arrangements. But a lot of times there's really unique, seductive kind of little loops that are happening musically. Minecraft, of course, is great with that. Um, where there might be just an uh, just a little pattern that's being played, be it by a keyboard or he's got a nice little uh, arpeggiation going with a really uh, soft ambient kind of bell sound or something, or very pulled back, 
And that's, that's really the two to three minute bit is all of that, but it's all the flares of all the things in between it and that take you through that journey. So it's almost like putting yourself on auto cruise, you know, uh, is that what it's called in a car? Auto cruise, auto, something like that. You know, you just put it on cruise and just take, you just take your foot off the pedal and just let it go. And then you get all these influential dancing arrangements that'll come in and out of it, but still the core of it is still, you know, a pattern that's being set. And occasionally the pattern might meander a little bit, but it's something that just keeps us locked through. I, I also call it the zip line of, of a track sometimes. Sometimes that'll be tonal structure. Uh, so anyhow, la that. So <clears throat> uh, let me say, hey, Masa Munajin MC. <laughs> Thanks for the sub. Yes, Giant Robot was the theme from an old anime. Yeah, from the 50s and the Giant, no. Da 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 Oh no, that was Gigantor. 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 <laughs> yeah, Giant Robot. Was it Johnny? Johnny and Giant Robot? Yeah, Gigantor, I think, was the cartoon. And Giant Robot was the um, live version, you know, re using real people. Oh, Johnny Sacco, yes, and Giant Robot. Bruh, come on. Remember he had the little bullets coming out of his fingers, too? Pew, 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 pew. Come on. <laughs> that, that was it, man. That's where it all started. You got to go back and watch that stuff, man. That's, that's, that's the whole thing. Giant Robot. Let's see what else. Did I, I did a video on my other channel, on my world music channel. My very first, uh, in the 60s, my very first exposure to anime was Kimba. The White Lion, Speed Racer, um, Gigantor, and there was probably another one. I'm, I don't know why I'm, I'm thinking there was another one, but those were my very first, like, like we're talking the mid-60s, you know, I can remember Channel 52. It wasn't even on regular TV back in those days, you know, back in the 1900s. TV was uh, Channel 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 full stop and then you'd get these little channels in between it that might be local programming or something but we had like a channel 52 out here and you'd be able to catch a little fuzzy you know little rascals and uh, anime stuff but that was my very first exposure to anime and very impactful chim chim would always be getting speed racer in trouble but i was wondering if speed racer would ever you know that girl whatever you know come on speedy can't you see she's making the googly eyes at you even at 10 years old, I figured that out. <laughs> Anyhow. All right. Um, let me, we're going to go back to a little bit of mine, uh, Minecraft. So let's take a little break here so I can, it's raining outside. I'm thinking I need to. I need to do something about this chest, man. There's probably so many things I can make and I don't even know. Um, I guess am, I, I guess I can wear like this leather cap or like this steel chest plate versus this leather tunic. When it says plus three armor, like for instance, the steel chest plate says plus six. Does that mean like like the the guy who's attacking me can hit me six times before I, I get affected by it. I don't know what that means. Plate and pants. Huh. I should put on my armor. Okay, let me see something. I think I have some stashed armor somewhere. I have a, I have a plate here, so stand by. I could have swore I had boots. No, you know what I need to do, I think, in order for me to get my full armor going? Um, uh, well, I learned how to make dyes. The second I learned how to make dyes, I went nuts. I started picking all these flowers and stuff, and I went, yay, die, yay, die. And then I went, oh, I maki die dead. Too much. Okay, uh, I need more iron. So I got me a bungo load of iron. Check this out. Woohoo. Wait. Um, so I'm going to do this for iron really quick. And I need some, I think I'm learning. Watch this. And then uh, I need some coal. 
And now I need to go to the stove and I need to make Ignots. If that's how you pronounce it, I go like this and I go like this and let that fire away. I think I need like about 10. I have the vest, but in order for me to get the helmet and the boots, I think I need like 10 more. I'm not too sure. Uh, that's what I like about this book. This book kind of says what I need. Ingots, ingots, thank you. Um, what do I need? Okay, boots, I need four ingots. The helmet, I need five ingots. So that means I need nine. I already have this, and I have a sword. What's this? A clock? When did this show up? When I got gold? I'm not using gold for a clock. Hell no. Yeah. Some new things opened up to me when I... All right, so stand by. Let me see how many I got here. Oops. I got six, so I need two more so I can back out of this. Okay, let me take a look outside really quick. See where the guys are lurking. The bad guys don't like the rain that much, do they? They seem to kind of disappear a little bit. All right, well, so be it. Ooh, okay, I think I should be able to get a helmet on. Uh, okay, I got nine. Ten. Okay, wait, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like this. Now I got this. Okay, guys, I think I may be able to pull this off. Hey, that's a cool looking block. Terracotta. All right. Wait, stand by. I still get. Okay. Cool. Um, Helmut. One. Um, boots. One. And that's it. And then I have. Wait, where's my? Okay. I go like that. How do I put it on me, though? Do I have to go this to put it on me? Nope, that doesn't do it. I could make. I could put on the leather pants. Yeah, <laughs> it would look grim, but that would protect my leggings. Oh, I have to press E and. Oh my! Inv oh, it's oh oh it's in my regular inventory. All right, wait, stand by. Okay, wait. Let me just do one thing here because I think I have. No, I don't have. I got purple pants. Yeah, purple and iron just don't match. So I'm gonna be kind of. That's gonna be kind of greasy, isn't it? I'll try it just for kicks. All right. So you guys say I just hit my E. And then what? Oh. Helmut. <laughs> Pants. Gosh. Boots. Oh, dude, I'm rigged. Wow. Check me. Even has a beard. Dude has a beard. Okay. Um. Um. I actually have. Stand by. Right here. I actually have a shield. I don't know how to use it, but I think I made one. Nope. Here. What do I do with the shield? Do I use the same thing? Is that a shield, this acorn thing? Make a shield. Okay, so I got the shield. I keep a bow. I don't know how to use the bow. I'm intimidated. This is the shield. All right. So now. Oh, dude, I am sick. This is like, come on, mother fella, mother la la, I got you. Kiss my fungandamunga. Okay. Now, I'm in training. Oh, I can see the shield on my left side. 
So, really quick, guys, before I go out there, um, okay, let me just might as well load up fat. I got my sword. Okay. Um, no daylight savings in Hawaii. No, nope. no daylight savings in Hawaii. That's why I was here earlier. <laughs> I left early. Click, click right with empty hand. Why did that do that? Wait. Oh, I was pointing at the wrong thing. Oh. So when I have the shield in my hand, then I'm kind of useless for, like, I shouldn't have the shield in my hand unless I'm being confronted by the bad guys. Is that when I've got to jump on it? Hold right click. Let's see what happens. Oh. Hold it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. Sun they do not. Oh, it's the sun they don't like. All right, so. Oh, dude, look at how hungry I am already. Wait, stand by now, guys. I got to eat. So I take it in order for me to do that. Um, I can keep the shield on. Okay, sorry, guys. I'm a little overwhelmed. Stand by for one second. Um, no, I got food in here. So this is my food and seed chest. Cooked mutant. Okay, stand by. <laughs> that, well, that was it? That's all the food I got? Oh, no. Well, I gotta start cooking shit and stuff. Potato. I don't even know... Can I eat potato or do I have to cook potato? I need some bread. Okay. Baked potatoes. Okay. Oh, I can grow the potatoes too. Ah, okay. Okay, gotcha. Um, then let me ask you a really super quick question. <laughs> I'm going to ask you guys a super quick question all the time. First of all, above my hearts, I now st see the steel, um, that, that grid. So this probably just goes the way I think. But So just like how the hearts go down, if I'm confronted by a bad guy and they're hitting me, those will go down first, and then after those go, that means that my, my shield is probably broken, and then it starts hacking my, my life support heart things, yeah? Armor. Armor damage, thank you. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, that's the extra defense. Okay, good. All right. Okay, let me... Oops. Let me put back Mr. Potato Head. I mean, um, bread. I don't want to bring things on my journey that I'm going to, if I get douched, I'll lose it. I just, I've learned my lesson. I don't need that. I don't need that. Uh, I don't need any note. Okay. Truthosaurus Rex, how's it? And Filthy Frankios. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, let me go to sleep then, I guess. Let's get past this nighttime. Um, I like the color blue. Man, that was a long session trying to get my ducks in a row. Um, okay, well, I want to take a look in my house. Uh, myself in my house. Wow, look at me! Freaking A! I don't know about the purple pants, but look at that. I look kind of like I'm ready to get down. Okay. Smile mirror. My house looking dope. Okay, let's go. Oh, I love this piece of music. And this one comes back in like this. Remember what I was saying about the arpeggiation? Listen to the arpeggiation in the background here. Da, 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 da. One little change. 
See how that sets you in that just nice glide? Now he kind of made it a little minor-ish, made it a little edgy for you. Sorry, just tripping on the music. Here we go. Because that's what we do here on the Jeeves Composer Lounge. Two things playing at once? That's a weird part of the arrangement. Well, well, now that I'm rigged up, now there's nobody around for me to kick some ass. Where, where's everybody? Come here, punks. What, what, you see me all rigged up and you guys run away? Man, I was all ready to go. Now they're not even around. See if they're gonna show up here. All right, guys. This is the scary pit that I've had to deal with for a long time. Okay, what do I do? I'm gonna hit him with the sword. Yeah, bitch. What's up? I mean, darn you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? 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 Okay, I get it. Okay, let me ask you guys, will these guys, oh shit, will they, oh man, too many of them. No, and there's the mini dude. Sorry guys, not having it. I gotta run. I'm not ready yet. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, I can block. Okay, I learned to block at some point, right? Block, block. Oh, block, 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 block. Nope, that didn't work. Block, oh, oh, oh. come on, come on. Oh, come on, how many of these? Frick you guys. Yeah, that, that, that didn't work out so well. I think I got way too bold thinking that that was going to give me like the full on protection. Perfect death music, right? This music is like me and my spirit after I've just been mucky die dead. Now it's floating to the sky. Okay, my stuff is all there, so at least I know where to get it, right? Baby zombies up the damage in the game. Oh, God. Well, I tried, guys. Let me just respawn and get my stuff, and we'll listen to some more music. But it's... Fuck. This is, I guess, what happens here. I've learned not to get my underwear in a bunch over getting worked. Except I learned... Oh, idiot. Except I learned um, to minimize the stuff I was taking. Taking. Fortunately, what you guys taught me is that if I'm going to do like some local, you know, dredging and stuff like that and mining and whatever, that at least just like this one, even though I got worked by the zombies and the mini zombie and stuff, that I can um, go back and, and fetch my my, uh, my rig. I can see pieces. Ah, really? Come on. Don't even give me a second. <laughs> and I got nothing to protect myself with. Oh, man. And I only have a few minutes to get my stuff, right? Before, um... Oh, that's because of that. Oh, you punk. Okay, so I lied. I do get heart attacks still. Oh, the mini dude. I, I just gotta go for it. I have to go for it if I want to get my stuff, right? Run by him. Oh, man. This is just not right. Run. Keep running, dude. Just keep running. Okay, you got your... I got my junk back, though. So now what I have to do is what? Run to a place far enough away to try to hurry up and put this stuff on. And they're just following me. Freaking guys. Oh, now the Elderman's here. Uh, I'm screwed, guys. Thanks. <laughs> I guess you get to watch this happen in uh, slow motion. Uh, there's Mr. Entenman. He's pissed because he doesn't have any cookies. Okay, maybe they followed me down that way. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, man, there's one right there. I got to get... Oh, I love my purple helmet. No, 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 no. Purple helmet. Oh, please. Come on, come on, come on. Let me get back to my house. This is the nastiest run ever. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm pulling this off. I sh you know what, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna save this piece and I'm gonna write my own like freak out music to this. That would be funny. You should suck. OK, 
can't believe I pulled that off. Oh my god, I should I, I should save this and write my own bit to this and see what that's like. Whew! I need to recover for a second, guys. Look, I got no more hearts. Oh man, that was sick. Okay, um Alright guys, you gotta wait for a second because I'm I'm actually spun right now. I need a I'm I have my cup of coffee out. I need some water. Just give me a second, guys. I don't know how to use the bow yet. Um, so I have to learn, you know, I feel like I'm on this like learning curve. All right, guys. Um, let me load up on the hearts and the food. Go to, and then we'll take, we'll do some more OST, okay? So just stand by. Um, Cause that way when I come back, I don't have to deal with this and I can go straight to it. Um, I'm sorry. God, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Because I'm nervous still. Does that do that? You, I mean, I, I feel like I got a nervous hangover for what I just went through. Okay, um, I have chicken. And I have some beef. Damn, I got a lot of beef. Okay. Oops. All right, let me just cook up some mutant. Let me get me some coal. Let me get, I'll, I'm going to call it porter. These are my, where, the, who's my porter? Where's my coal? I had a lot of coal. See, I got to get more organized. Here it is. Oh, man. Guys, that was insane. Just when I think I'm like feeling good about the game and stuff, that's just kicking my ass. It hurt. Okay, I need um, chicken. So I'm gonna have some chicken and some charcoal. Oh, okay. You guys, that was insane. A single piece of coal will cook eight things. Oh, I didn't know that. Eight pieces of food? Because it doesn't seem like um, like the, ing the ingots. Um, it's like one coal for one ingot kind of thing. Eight items of anything. Oh, that's great help a lot slow walk backwards while attacking oh that's a good tactic well I'm still my hands um, blade of at tomorrow my hands are still not like I I I'm I'm a real super newbie geek uh, at this so this whole w a d s thing um, is still kind of that whole maneuvering all this stuff it's like well, I'm sure you know. <laughs> so, the moving back while I stab and stuff, you know. And I did tell you guys that I did get my paddle. So now I realize, though, that I have to do it through steam in order to use my um, uh, controller. Part of keep saying paddle. My controller. Maybe that'll make it a little easier for me, I guess. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Let me just eat and let's go listen to some more music. I definitely need to listen to some more music after that. Um, so now I have enough food. So hang on. Let me put one of my sh a couple of my shears up here, and let's have some chicken. Got to wait for the hearts to fill up. You guys taught me that. Hey guys, do you think I should write a piece of music to that little bit? When I was starting to get worked and chased by the um, um, uh, the Entenman guy and the, and the uh, and the mini zombies and the zombies, I think I should write a little piece of that. I'll go back and fetch that little section and write a piece. <laughs> I'll do it maybe a couple ways. Maybe I'll do it like a Monty Python kind of vibe, and then maybe I'll do like a Doom vibe. How about that? I'll do one bit like a Doom, then I'll do one like a Monty Python. <laughs> Yeah, like a Benny Hill theme. That's 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 what that too. That thing. Okay, let me eat a little more chicken and then let's go. Guys, that would be fun. I think that'd be hilarious. <laughs> Hang on. Come on, hearts. Give it to me. Give it to me. Brown chicken, brown cow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. I just that's the way I feel. I want to see all my hearts in there. 
And we're a keeper. All right, guys. Let's go outside really quick. All right, I'm not going to go outside. I'm too scared right now. But isn't this badass? Does this look killer? Let's go upstairs in the bedroom. See how that looks. Wow. Sick, guys. I, if I say so, my damn self. I build a little crafty spot, don't I? Hidden mine over there. Not so hidden. Treehouse mine back there. Little mine there. Little sunset here. And pulling on the moon bowl right here. There we go. All right, guys. Let's go. Let's go listen to some music. Man, that was gnarly. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that ride with me. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Uh, let me get my head together. Let me bring up my browser. Stand by. Okay. What are we doing, guys? Hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, let's let's go with something I've never heard of here. Oh geez, we're all over the place. Okay, never heard of this one. Um let's see how do you spell it? And that's the other thing that happens. Look what happens. You guys see how hard I'm banging my keyboard while I'm playing Minecraft? And I always hit that freaking cap locks. And then I forget about it because I do, and that's what happens. The frick. <laughs> Come on, guys. Don't tell me you don't hit the, the cap locks. Even you guys that are really good at it kind of whack that cap lock key sometimes. <laughs> Standby. All right. <sighs> Crazy. All right, here we go. I think this is it. Nope, that's a that's a playthrough. Uh, which one should I do, guys? Throne th Thrones theme OST. That's a playthrough. soundtrack anybody help me on this which one I should be doing because there's this type this top one is some kind of a playthrough with this guy and these are another playthrough well I, I will say one thing at least with the playthrough um, a lot of people are, are enjoying it uh, all right, I tell you what. All right, I'm going to I'm going to do this right here seems like full Galdering boss fight OST with lyrics. Let's try this. Let's just go right here. Let's see what happens. I'm down for it.
had some big, bold, operatic kind of vibe uh, to it. Uh, I, you know, there are the elements of kind of like a metal, um, kind of a Nordic metal kind of vibe, but it's more of a horror metal musical theater kind of vibe. And what crosses it over for me on that is the organ that you hear in the background. That's a that's a very big part of the um, composition, and that the chugging of the guitars is actually way back in the mix. So there isn't a predominant arrangement that's out front that, that you would say this is a metal um, you know, bass track or anything like that. It's like the composer infused these elements that are really big and banging and stuff like that. But this whole thing has kind of like a metal horror musical theater kind of vibe. Yeah, a little bit of Flesh uh, Apocalypse, Flesh kind of Apocalypse. Yeah, if this was more of a metal performance and stuff, all of those down, all of those downbeat chord changes and stuff would have been emphasized with these big power chords. But I like that the composer infused some of the chugginess in there. But this definitely has. I mean, you could see Nightwish or bands of that nature pulling this off without a doubt. <laughs> The game looks really kind of cool. <laughs> pushing the pushing the limits with the drum arrangement there. Oh geez, Dream Theater just dropped in for a turnaround. <laughs> Ooh. Great symbol work by the drummer. So now, like I said earlier, there was a little jump of like uh, some dream theater that came around in one of the turnarounds that you could definitely like say, whoop, do that, do that, do that. But even here, what I was just saying, what I was saying earlier, and how, how I really love the fact that in the, even in that little one bar or two bars that was being played, where there was the, uh, the little ostinato that was happening uh, with the strings, there was crunch guitar behind it, but it was literally behind it. So what happens is, is at least for me, the, the sensation that I get is that I, you've got the, the cellos going dit, 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 with the guitar behind it in the same exact, in unison, in the same exact notes, it adds like a little overdrive to the cello. And that was, that, that was a great sound. Hear it? Oh, the lyrics at the bottom? I just noticed that, I don't know why.
I love that kind of Ethel Merman kind of vi uh, vibrato. That's way back in the day. Where these operatic voices get really bold and big out in the background, but the vibrato's a little more of a really powerful, um, uh, slower vibrato, but a little bit more of um, uh, not quite like a, not, um, what's, what's the word? Half step kind of whoa, 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 when they get really bold like that. But yeah, this is a super kick-ass piece, man. I really dig this. But I'm really more, I, I was watching the, the lyrics on this in this game. I'm like going, geez, I think I need to check out this game. Dream Theater. <laughs> so it repeats. That was great, man. You see, thank you so much. Uh, uh, for the uh, for that individual that uh, asked me to listen to Octopath Traveler, but now I got to check out the game. Uh, I kind of like there. There's another game. Which game is it that the really lovely grandmother plays here on Twitch? Um, and she plays this game. It looks like there's a bunch of them battling bosses and stuff like that. Um, I've got. Is she playing Skyrim? Is that what she's playing? Is that what that is? Yeah, I've had a lot of people tell me not to try that yet, that I may not be as advanced yet, and that might be a little a little bit much for me uh, for right now. Um, I don't know what it is, but it just... What it is, it's, it's, it's those kind of characters. You know, it's not the ones that look fantastic, like, um, um, you know, like Bloodborne, you know, the, the knights and the stuff, but more, more of the, the cool little pseudo-anime-looking or type of characters... I still have to battle, you know, bosses and stuff like that, but, you know, um, <clears throat> if I could play Minecraft, I could play, well, I don't know, after that last bit of me jumping back and freaking out and trying to see how much hearts I have versus how many hits I'm going to take in order to get my helmet back, I had, that was, that was a lot in my head, it's still pinging in my head, <laughs> um, but anyhow, hey, speaking of which, let's do one from Skyrim. Yeah, you know, a lot of people were dropping Skyrim, thinking that's maybe the game I was talking about. But let's <coughs> let's give me something from Skyrim, guys. Let's go. Ooh, look at it's bomb! Everybody, everybody loves their Skyrim here because here it comes. Biased reviews. All right, thank you. Midventer, thank you so much for your first comment. Wow. Okay, let's try that. From past to present, OST. Let's see what this is. Forsaken Mantra, thank you so much for uh, follow. I appreciate that. Test V Skyrim soundtrack from past to present. So I guess this is it. This TES or the one below. Oh, that's the topic. See, at first I, I was confused. I think I did one of my very first. Um, um, OST videos that I did uh, was on Skyrim, but then I thought it was called Elder Scrolls or something, and I got really super confused at that, and I was like, oh, what am I doing? But you guys are very kind in helping me out with that there. All right, guys, um, let's do this. Oh, TES, the Elder Scrolls. See, this is why I get it. Now I can log that in. All right, guys, let's do this. This is from the Skyrim game, and this is uh, TES, The Elder Scrolls, and this track is called From Past to Present. All right.
Can somebody tell me what's happening with this music? If this is an establishing scene or something? Yeah, I mean, this is absolutely a beautiful piece of music. And the, the reason why I didn't stop earlier was because I was really getting into the spirit of the track as far as it being this very ambient, ethereal kind of vibe. And it's, you know, it's start, it's so many different ways to start pieces like this. But I loved how the composer opened up with more of these just sustained high end, high notes. It just kind of gave us this kind of edge of like, you know, when you open your eyes in, 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 in the morning, you know, it's just kind of the very first peek into a new scene and stuff. And it was, and it was just a couple of sustained high notes, I think by the strings, very, very subtle. And then as the melody started to creep in, then the composer brings out the lower end of the string section and, make, and makes a very bold presence, you know. I, I don't know what's happening here in the game, obviously, but if I'm interpreting as I am what's happening with the music, with the bottom strings, uh, the bottom ends of his strings, as he comes into that arrangement, it also establishes a more broader dynamic presence in the headsets, right? Or if you're listening, um, how many of you guys are listening to this in, in headsets? Let me know. Um, and then all of a sudden you, you those senses that are attached to our brains <laughs> that causes things from, from chills to chicken skin, depending on how what point you are, um, or what kind of music it is, that sensation of dynamics is so, 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 so important to that, to that getting that feeling. And um, as, as the composition starts to move forward, it's... I, 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 I can't remember what the, the the instrument was, but as the melody started to meander through, it opened up. There was a second harmony that kind of peeled away, but from behind it, and then you know ran with it as it started moving forward. And those subtle things are so eclectic and so ethereal that you can't help but like in my mind, you can't help but wonder if this what kind of what where in the game this was. And then some people were saying, well, this is kind of like. Um, a part in the game where you're you're journeying forward or you're you're not engaging in anything super gnarly, which makes sense for how beautiful this music is. that opens up Ramongan say if that's your name yeah I could see I could see if they were influenced by the music first And I love that there's hybrid use in it. There are some digital synthy things happening in the back, but they're all very muted sounding. They're not bright and buzzy. These little dancing kind of little things in the background. Yeah, without a doubt, this is like the kind of music you can study to because it just releases that that space in your head for those who are open to it. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty. A little chicken skin on that move right there.
Good ears. I was going to mention that. Very subtle vocals in the background. Beautiful. A little playful piano and the chimes and the bells in the background. That was beautiful, man. That was sick. I really needed to hear that. That was really, really super cool. All right, guys. Hey, listen. Uh, I got to do a quick five-minute break. I got a text I got to respond to. You're going to have to forgive me for that. So just hang in there for about five minutes. Um, I will set you guys back up on something super cool beans here uh, to listen to for a second. But I do have to respond to this. Yeah, it's a, it's a family thing. Family thing. Stand by. What should I play for you guys here? Let's let let me play some. How about some? Let me stream a little bit of the Hollow Knight OST for you, <laughs> guys. Give me give me about five minutes, okay? All right. I'll be right back. on my mic. Thanks guys. Everything is okay. I just had to, uh, you know, sometimes, let me turn this off. Don't you love Hollow Knight? I do. Um, you know, sometimes you just got to train, train, you know, train the family. If you're going to call three times in a row and if I don't answer, leave a text, but then don't leave a text saying, call me and like, tell me what it's about. Come on. Family. I love family. I wouldn't be anywhere without them, but Sometimes, let me turn this down a little bit. Love my family, all my grandkids. God, thank God only one of them out of eight have a phone. 
I have eight grandkids. One of them is old enough to have a cell phone. I, dr I, I love, but I dread the day that all eight kids end up with a cell phone. <laughs> They're texting their Abba. Abba, can you do this? Abba, can you pick me up from school? Abba, can you do this? Abba, I have a boyfriend-girlfriend problem. Can I talk to you? Abba, can you teach me music? <laughs> what are you going to do? All right. Let me move that here. I got my jumbo water. Let's continue. Ah. All right. Oops. All right, so let me see. I did the Skyrim. Let's do one more. What do we got? What's... Super moves, yeah, better I sing to myself while I read this blazing chat explode. Okay, this is something I've never heard of. Stand by. God, still don't know how to control my freaking chat when it's blown up like this. Okay, let's see what this is. I've never heard of this. For sure. I know everybody stops and they go, oh, what's he going to type in? Thronebreaker. Whoops, not full. Fool me thrice. OST. Let's see what this is. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, this is a video game, I guess, called um, Thronebreaker. Correct? Oh, damn. I paused the chat again. Durr. Uh, hey, seg segmented, lad. Seg seg segmented. How are you? <laughs> Hey, somebody just dropped me in for two months for uh, a join. Thank you so much, uh, Carbon Metric. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, for those of you who are feeling the urge, too, if you want to help me fill up my cup of coffee for today's session, <laughs> the donate buttons are down, down below in the About page. All right, let's see. Um, first one. All right, guys, let's do this. Uh, so I take it re real quick. Uh, give me uh, while I'm about to start this. When did this game release? Who's the composer? Let's do this. All right. Love that Eastern guitar instrument going on in this. This is great. This has that. Yeah. Okay, everybody, the drone note. What's the drone note? Da, that's the note all the way through. Thank you for the donation, Chaz. Thank you. So, you know, without a doubt, that, that Celtic vibe, um, which is really throughout, you know, when I, you think of the Celtic vibe because of incredible instruments like the bagpipes and other instruments that are like the bagpipes that function around a drone setup and are established 
on starting off a pulse with a drone tone. You could, you know, I think, I think the bagpipes are in B flat, A flat, B. Oh, I forget. Anyhow, it, from Scotland, from from you know that Nordic, uh, from Scotland to India, Pakistan, Mongolia, all those, you know parts of the world, if you would, uh, when we hear that particular sound, pulls us right into that abyss, you know, and there's so much fun that you can have as a composer when you can lock yourself into just that, not necessarily worry too much of, of, of the chordal journey of a track, but to me, one, one, of the, one of the most important parts as a composer is to... Uh, is artistic divergence. And what I mean by that is, you know, if you give all the composers a drone and then you say, go, but the common thing in there is the drone. It's so unique to watch what composers and arrangers can do with using that kind of path, sonic path to write music. You know, you could do it in every style of music in the sense that it could be choral, it could be classical, it could be band, it could be quintet, quartet, it could be anyway, but having that note all the way through, that's the magic for me when I sit there and, and say, okay, Mr. or Mrs. Arranger, here's what you got. Let's see how you make this stuff happen. And this is a very unique um, uh, example of that because there's hybrid work in here going on here with, with the strings and then that one guitar or that one instrument in there happening. Very and, and not overloaded as well. Breakaway there. I gotta stop. The composer did something really, 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 really unique to us on that. Remember how we have that note that's established that's already kind of that, that through note? That duh, that right there. So what happened was, is while that was front loaded and that um, doesn't sound like a violin, it sounds once again like a Middle Eastern, uh, India, Pakistan uh, string instrument, um, had a little pattern. Duh, duh. Right as that as the drone continued, but ended up what ended up happening was the composer flipped the script on us. That little pattern that the that string instrument started, now that became the takeover of the continuity of the zip line of the track, and all of a sudden what we were getting used to as that drone started stepping down steps, like the bass line was changing. But yet they still kept us hooked in by making sure that we still had that little pattern that was a reference to the, to the setup drone, which was really super cool. Oh, was that the end of it? Oh, it talked right at the very end of that. I love that. I thought that was a great track. I think you know tracks like that definitely have a very powerful purpose in 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 the repertoire of composers, if you would, and um, it's to create that tension. It's to create that. Um, I, I always use this term, but I'm just going to continue to use it. It's that zip line, but that zip line can go through all kinds of environments, right? You know, theoretically, or not, you know. Literally, a zip line goes through. If you go to a zip line by a beach, you know it's by the ocean. You go to a zip line up and you know, like Kualoa, it's in the you know the the uh, the mountains of Hawaii and stuff like that. It's the environments that that zip line will take you through. 
And even though it may not have a lot of melodic substance, you know, in, in these kind of tracks, they definitely have a purpose on getting you to the next part of the mission. You know, and they, they're very hypnotic and they're very, you know, it's just how we respond to them as, as human beings. B-E-A-N-S. That's what I sometimes think. <laughs> human beings instead of beings sometimes the way we act in this planet. Not you. I'm not, I'm not shots fired. I'm just saying. All right. Let's do one more. Um, yeah, it was very Dame of, Game of Thrones-esque issues. Um, uh, Chaz, I just read your message. Thank you so much. I was really, really super nice of you. Thank you so much. And uh, Sod Manic, thank you so much for your subprime. I appreciate it. I really do. It means a lot. Okay, woo! We're firing. We're firing. They're firing on me, peoples. What do I do here? Uh-huh. Wow. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Okay. This caught my eye. I don't know why it did. But I just think it's just... It's got to be funny. Is that it? I, I don't know if I typed it right or wrong. What is mixed nuts? Okay, this must be anime. And, um... Um... Let me see. Okay, it's a great song. Everyone says this is funny, but which one is it? This very first one right here? I think so. Yeah, Mixed Nuts. All right, guys. Um, let me see what it says here in the description. It's anime. It's The name of it is called Spy X Family. I guess that's the name of the anime. And it, it's, it's featuring Hije Densum and Hits. Satoshi Fujihara. Wow. Okay. Let's do this, guys. Looks like this would be fun. Because <laughs> mixed nuts is exactly what my brain works like. Let's go. Absolute monster piece of work. And there's an infusion of the jazz, uh, but there's this more of a pop culture melodic structure to it. And with that kind of production and rich, thick layering that's going on there in the vocals, but come on, guys. Can I get one of these, please, for the bass player? That bass player is frying. And I love the infusion of the dive bombing guitar that you heard in the back of the mix, as well as the muted metal that was creeping in. That's magic. That is like plus 20 fire damage. That was one of the most intense pieces of music of this type that I've ever heard. It's so incredibly well composed there's I, I just didn't want to stop anymore because there were so many nuances that are going on in these arrangements even the depth and the rich and the thickness of the vocal harmonies that were happening in the background it kind of remind me there's a young gentleman right now who's getting very very famous um, uh, and he loves to talk about block chord playing and 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 um, really intense harmonies and stuff I want to see something Collier or Col Collier a young, a young guy, I think he's from the UK and stuff like that. He's, he's blown up on the internet and he's doing things that have to do with harmonies and stuff. And it's got that, st yes, Jacob, thank you. Jacob Collier, hey, Fate Unleashed, how's it? Yes, that's it, Jacob Collier. It's like as if, if the, the, the composer and the arranger embodied a little bit of that style without a doubt, especially when it came to the background vocals. But what really is kind of a... God, how do I say this? What's really, I don't know, the intense focus and amount of work that is put into some of these anime tracks are absolutely amazing. And we don't, you know, it just, it's lost on Western world um, production. Not on, our, not on Western world ears, because obviously there's millions and millions of fans around the world, especially in the Western world, that watch anime and are influenced by this music. But to me, it's just such a great feeling to know that for those at least who are into anime, that or even video games. I said this once before. I'm just going to say it again because pff, I can. 
is the fact that it's such a great thing to know that both the crossover of, of video games and anime, the exposure that people get to so many different styles of music opposed to, let's just say pop culture music listening um, points of distribution, radio, MTV, well, and th that's all gone now, I think, by now, but you know what I'm saying? So now you become, uh, you're involved in anime, or you're involved in video games and stuff, and I'm not saying that you like every piece of music that comes at you, but at least it's like, you know, with the senses that you enjoy being a gamer, which is you're playing games, you're getting, you know, points and, and awards or, or playing and hanging out with friends and stuff and doing that whole thing, part of the full uh, delivery of, of, the, of, of the joy in the senses is in the music as well as in your ears. And the fact that you could be influenced by video games and anime musically is so cool because they're... For better or for worse, there's no real radio around anymore. Yeah, there's Spotify, there's things you can go ahead and get your own playlist locked up and stuff. But when it comes to being exposed to music uh, with with partial control of the influences, I, I just love the fact that this music is out there. And it was just, I just goobered. I'm sorry, I just blah, 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 but that's just how I feel. I feel like uh, it's, it's like a magic musical path, anime and OS, video games, OSTs have given the world at large and without a doubt will continue to keep blowing up many many years after I Maki died dead but still yet that, that that's all that's all I gotta say about that okay what movie was that from remember that that's all I gotta say about that I said it on a Saturday and then I I, I fell on a Monday <laughs> Anyhow, yes, The Gump. Guys, without a doubt, Forrest Gump was one of my all-time favorite movies. Because I, I, I have a kindred spirit with that whole character. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, hello, Hino. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. And also a couple people checked in, too, uh, while I was yapping. Uh, yeah, no, you did. And I did say, how's it? Yes, to Sodomatic. And Chaz Fnaz, thank you so much. Can't uh, thank you guys enough for hanging out on a Saturday. I know once uh, it gets a little warmer in the mainland, at least in the, in the United States, you know, more people will be out and playing. But right now, I'm still thinking it's still a little cold for your folks. And so spending in, in, inside a little bit, maybe watching a stream, uh, I, I appreciate your time, you guys hanging out here with me. All right. Um... <laughs> okay, I got to get back to video game for uh, a little bit, guys, and we'll get right back into some more OSTs. <sighs> Let me see. It snowed. Uh, Turn up. Where are you at? Where Where did it snow for you? Oh, Nashville. Wow. Ireland. Oh, it's a dream of mine to visit Ireland. One of the most gloriously beautiful countries I've ever seen on the TV. I so want to go. Snowing for a lot of people. New York weather has been all over the place, huh? Well, yeah, I know. I, I tell you one thing. Oh, it's Scotland too. Oh my God, I love it. I can. I just dream of that. Um. I was gonna say something. God, the people from California. Man, well, I might as well start playing my game, and we I, I can yap about this. Are just getting so pummeled with so much snow. And rain and stuff, which I guess is kind of a good thing. Uh, without a doubt, I, you know, it, um, <clears throat> you know, the drought situation, it's wonderful to see the drought um, uh, thingy happen. And um, uh, as far as the charts going down and, and uh, you know, as far as showing which is more um, getting away from extreme drought and all that sort of stuff. It's great to watch that go away and I'm really you know hopeful that um, you know the Lake Mead thing and stuff gets refilled and stuff but still yet it's uh, it's an intense amount of rain and stuff that's happening over there I'm sorry guys I'm talking and trying to do this let me go take a nap and then we'll start all over again oh geez hey guys I gotta put you on pause sorry 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 something's going on
Hey guys, um, I am so, so, so sorry to bust out like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely had to catch that call. Um, I, um, you know, when you're live, it's a trip, right? I mean, you know, I've been, I've been interrupted in doing my videos on YouTube, you know, like I'll be talking and, but it's recording, right? So I can always stop, answer the phone and then, you know, resume, you know, recording and, and edit. But when it's live, you know, um, I was like all tore up. I was like, uh, how do I, uh, but uh. anyhow, um, I want to thank you guys for hanging in there. Uh, wasn't the world's greatest news, but uh, no one's hurt and there's no injuries uh, or anything like that. Whoops, I'm sorry, I got all tangled now. Hang on for a second. Now I'm all tangled up. Give me a second. All right, there we go. Okay. Uh, Headspace, where am I? Um, thank you guys. No, seriously, you guys being kind in the comments, thank you. It's just. <sighs> I will say one thing. The older we get, the better we were. <laughs> you can make that kind of you can you can you can you can make that out to whatever you need. But uh, yes, shiitake happens. Shiitake does happen. <laughs> All right. Yes, I must put my armor back on. Let's let's get ourselves back into uh, some game mode here. Thank you guys for chilling with me here on this. Uh, I need to get my armor on. So. I, I recouped that armor, so hang on, I'm slow at this. That goes here. Um, I get my Helmut, and I got my Purple Rain leathers, and where's my boots? That's my boots. And now, my shield. <laughs> Look at me. All rigged to go. Okay, now. Maybe I should check in on my library and read a book? No, negative. Um, sorry, I was a little frazzled from that stoppage. Where, where are we going to go here? Oh, I'm going to go back down. Because I, I need training, guys. I need to be... Wait. I need a sword. I want a sword in my hand for this. Now, before I go back out... Oops. W. Before I go back into the cave, uh, once again, the good thing is, is obviously if I have to respawn and stuff like that, at least I know where I get my stuff. Does it make, like, if I kill um, the zombies and the mini zombies and whatever's down there, am I done with that lot? Or do they just keep respawning? Is this something I've got to keep going through every time I go back down there to mine? Because I that that kind of confused me. That would be kind of uh, a new way to more will come. Uh, yeah, as long as it's dark. Well, I mean, I put the um, the the torches and stuff. Uh, if you put down torches, yeah. All right. Well, then let me practice here. This is for my. If I hold down my right. The shield goes up, and my left is the sword. All right. You know what I need to do? Just because we're in the world of the selfie. I mean, come on. Is this not, wait a second, let me do this. You guys are gonna die laughing because this is how my brain works. You know, you always wanna take a, you always wanna maybe, hang on for a second, oops. Let me get out of this thing. What the hell happened here? Oh, that stupid thing. God dang it. Sorry. Back to game. Okay. Wait a second. So, if I go like this. So, <laughs> it's me. I want to do a selfie of me before I get myrtleized. <laughs> what I look like. Wait a minute. Let me move forward a little bit. Okay, I'll turn sideways. Wait a minute. There we go. I'll do it like this. Take it in front of my house. I'm so vain. Now, okay. There we go. Is that, that did I frame that okay? All right. Which 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 F1 is a screenshot, guys? Which which one? F2. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. This is me. F2. 
And let me let me get a better framing here. All right, here we go. <laughs> I just did it. There we go. Look, it says I got a frame. Okay, wait a second. And uh, just I wanted to take a picture of this is what I look like before I get myrtleized by these zombies. All right, here we go. <laughs> I guess I got to entertain myself, everybody. Um. Okay, W. Here we go, guys. I'm marching into battle again. Practice, practice. Hold down the left one. Boom. Hold down the right one. Boom. All right, here we go. What is swiping the sword correctly? You mean like, you mean just doing like that? Or are you talking there's going to, is there a way, to, or if I hold it down, what happens? No. Somebody was mentioning swiping the sword. Huh. All right, well, so when you use your sword, do nice solid swipes, not rapid. Oh, so boom, 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 like that? Okay. Under my, small meter under my crosshair. Yeah, what does that meter mean under the crosshair? It's the full strength of the swipe. Ah, since I've started playing that game, I always wonder what that meter meant. So, um, and now, so when that meter is completely pow, it goes all the way through, that means it's reloaded for a full hit. Okay, gotcha. All right, guys, here we go. In Thunderdome. Okay, these mother falala falamas. We're doing this, guys. They're down here. I need like some theme music for this. I should have. I should have. <laughs> Are you guys on edge with me? I'm on edge right now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> let me let me practice one more time. Oops. No, no, I don't want to do that. I'm just shifting. Um, left. Right. Left. Right. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I'm in training. I don't, I'm scared as flink. Where are they? I don't see anything. I don't see anybody. I'm just like fully itching. Oh, okay. Boosh, boosh. Hey! Whoops. I got all scared. I pressed my E button. Okay, but I lost a couple hearts, but I'm good. Okay, I'm getting there. Nobody's around. I should be on a mission to look for something, right? I guess right now I'm on a... Oh, I hear him. This is crazy. Put down the torches. Okay, wait a second. More torches, more torches. Wait, how do I do that? How come, it, how come I can't put down the torch? It won't let me put down the torch, guys. I'm, oh, there it is, sorry. I wasn't aiming on something. You see, I've got too many things to look at. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you mother fella. Torch. Okay. I'm so nervous right now, guys. This is nuts. <laughs> Torch. Torch. Okay. Well, I guess I might as well do some work while I'm here then, right? Oh, my gosh. Is there anything up here? I don't see any diamonds or anything. <laughs> Mother funge. Okay, I gotta face my foe. What the foe? Okay. Yeah, what, 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 what then? Yeah, what, you punk? I got you. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, what? Oh, oh shit. I can't kill you with the torch. Now I gotta go to get the. Oh, now I gotta get that. Oh my god, this is too much for me, guys. I'm. I'm Oh, no, no, no. Up, up. Okay, forward. How do I do this? I'm moving forward on you, bro. 
Why is it moving so slow? My guys, I was holding my breath through this whole thing and I'm dying. And I got almost no hearts. What do I do? I got to retreat. Look at all these arrows. I got to retreat, guys. I got no heart. I mean, I got heart, but I, I didn't. I don't think I brought any food. Oh no! Does that mean these guys are gonna? Where, where's Where's my food? Is it in here? Oh, I got steaks. Please no zombies. Please no zombies. Please no zombies. Where's? I need to eat. No. Where's? What do I do, guys? I'm I'm trying to eat food. It's. <laughs> Wait a second. I need empty more food. Okay, I'm feeling a little good. Oh my gosh, I'm. I don't know if I don't know. If, you know what would be killer? Tell me if this would not be mental, guys. If I hooked myself up to like a beats per minute kind of machine and stream that while I go through this stuff to see what my heart does. <laughs> this mother fanana malafala. Okay. Um, okay, um, I got enough hearts, so I'm going to ditch this. I'm going to bring this down here. Stand by for a second. I only have 36 more torches. Okay, um, I guess if I'm doing all this, I should get something for myself, right? I need to get something for all this work. So what I'd like to do is get some iron. I like iron. Hi, Ron. Oops. Okay. I got me all my iron. You know this this uh, shield is driving me a little batty. Can I take the shield? And oh, there's even. Oh, you only have levels that that can take the heat. Oh, I see. Okay, so these aren't like forever pieces of armor. Well, like any good, I guess. Look, I learned that lesson in uh, what was that Heath Ledger movie when he was a knight, or he became one, and he had to have like a smith keep reworking his uh, his chest plate and stuff like that. Uh, I guess that's real life, right? Art imitates life. Knight's Tale. What a great movie, huh, guys? Okay, stand by for a second. I'm reading what you guys are putting down here. Blocks for emergency. Yes, I, I have been learning how to use dirt blocks. Um, and I still got to keep putting up torches. Okay. Is that why they're not re redoing right now? Is because there's a lot of torches? Ooh, that's scary down there. What should it, what's way down there? Oops, negative. Oh, this is why they're not spawning. Oh, okay. Fine by me. Torch. Yeah, but I need to get some goods. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna do all this work, what's down here? Whoa! The, the, the last final question. Oh, nothing. Okay, negative. Oof, I'm getting a little better at this, guys. <laughs> oh, oh shit! And I don't even have a. I don't. Oh, where did I go? Oh, 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 oh geez, I'm in trouble, guys. I am. Oh! I'm gonna kick your ass with a candle if I have to. Where's where's my sword? I'll get you. Come on, come on. How'd that happen? I can't do this, guys. I'm gonna just. Can I just sit here and die? Here, here, here. I can't do this. <laughs> I was hitting him with cobblestone. I was hitting him with dirt. I was hitting him with torches. I can't. I don't know if I can do this. Oh. <sighs> Look, I got no hearts. I need a moment to rest. Let me see how much food I got left. I think I don't even have any food left. I don't have any food. I only got rotten flesh. I can't eat rotten flesh, right? Well, look at me. Look at me all tatted up with all, the <laughs> all of these. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me light this up here and see what happens. And let me take a picture of myself. 
Look at me. I am so shipwrecked. This has got to be a picture for the ages. How do I... This is... That, that is not... How, how do I do that? That was hilarious. How do I get out of here? I don't even know how to get out of here now. Wait. That was hilarious. Okay, hang on. I got to learn. I got to move forward. Jump. I don't even know where I'm at. I need to get out of here. Wait a second. I don't care about my torch. I just need to get out of this hell hole. Guys, I'm lost. I fell some, down some kind of hole. I have one steak. Okay, stand by. Where is that? Oh, steak. I just hope nobody respawns. Okay, I gotta rest for a second. Dig upwards. Okay, I gotta wait till my heart, let my heart kind of catch up a little bit. Dude, that was so freaking stressful. Okay. W. But wait a minute, there has to have been... Oh, is this where I came from? Right here, didn't I? Okay. Wait a second, then I'll learn. I'll do what you guys taught me. Um, let me take some dirt. I'm going to move forward a little bit. And put some dirt there. Make sure it's a straight line up. Yep. How much more do I have to go here to get out? Oh, I don't think that's... Oh, I'm really lost, guys. Wait a minute. Oh, there I am. I got to get up into there. Okay. Um, how many cobblestones do I have? Okay, wait a second, guys. Um, I'll do the same trick. Oh, God, there I am. Okay, well, wait a second. Now, let me make sure I have enough... I got to put my armor back on because that was just not right. I got my butt handed to me. Let me make sure I have my sword highlighted. I, just in case I got to make a run for it. Something's cooking. Okay, here we go, guys. W, control, and space bar. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Oh, my God. I made it back up. I need a breather. I need to listen to some music, guys. That was just not right. Um... I gotta get my bearings though first. Stand by. My campfire was my center, so my out is right there. Oh my god, I can't believe. <sighs> Minecraft is so fun. It's a really mellow, you know, you just do farming, you build houses and stuff. My ass. <laughs> I guess, I guess I gotta do peaceful mode or something. This was just, I have one thing to say. Drugs are bad, okay? No, right now I feel more like, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Oh God, I need to take a break. Let's go listen to some music. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are helping me out, man. And, um, and, and just to think, I'm on normal mode. I, I noticed that there's something here called hard mode. It's like, what do you spend your whole time fighting? Oh my god, I feel like I just came home from a gnarly day of motocross racing and I gotta like shed my my gear. Okay, stand by. I have to make sure. Let me just change out of my equipment for a second. Let me drop my shield. Um, I gotta roast some food really quick. Um, charcoal's still there. Do I have anything to roast? No, the iron always looks like it's chicken. You can't eat rotten flesh, right? I always keep chucking that because somebody had once said that that, it, that rotten flesh is useless. Do I have anything left in here? Oh, good. Here we go. I get choked food over here. All right. I'm never going to let that happen. I am I'm actually slightly, not nauseous, but I'm slightly, like, anxiety out. My stomach is churning um, right now. Okay. Steak. I'll have my medium rare, please. Okay. That's good. That's cooking. Let me see what else. What else? 
I didn't even catch anything on that run worth keeping. Except my own existence. Oh. Rotten flesh heals you but makes you sick. How do you get sick? So, in other words, you eat it and it'll fill it up, but then your heart doesn't go back up? Something like that. Yeah, the en the, the Entenman or the Enderman guy, that's the one that really makes me go to the easy mode. Okay. I'll have to do that. But I just want to make sure my stakes are ready. Let's go listen to some music. I need some music really bad. <laughs> All right, steaks are in the house. I will have my uh, Grey Poupon. Uh, where's my steak? Put it in here and eat it. And let me repair my hearts and let's go listen to some music. Man, that was insane. That was absolutely insane. Uh, you know what? I want to make a pen of cows and get up, but I can't get there. Are no cows close enough to my area? I have scouted, like literally. If you have to go by the metrics of day night in Minecraft, I have scouted out at least one full day and one full night out in all directions, and there are cows out there. But they're so far out there, I don't know how to get them back. Like, how do you nudge, you know? Well, I did I did have to make some steaks locally, but there's all the way. Chris, oh, thank you so much for asking about crispy bacon. Crispy bacon is great. Thank you. Let's take a look at him before we go for a music listen and make sure he's good. I'll bring my sword out just in case. This is perfect music to check on crispy bacon. Make sure there's no flaming zombies around me. So let's check on crispy bacon and then we'll listen to music. There he is. I need to bring him a friend. Hi Chris, come on over here and say hi to everybody really quick. Don't ignore me, come here, hi. Everybody says hi, they're just sending their love to you, making sure that you're okay, that I'm treating you okay, okay Chris? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was perfect. All right, Chris. Uh, we're gonna go listen to some music. I, I, I'll, I'll bring some, some friends for you soon. Okay. Oh, he turns his back on me. He's like, yeah, pff, whatever, Abba. All right. Let me just get in my boat. I'm gonna back out for a second. Oh no, it's not safe. I'm sorry. I'm just talking to myself now. Let me get back into the house. You guys notice I put a nice little fence around my, um, my my wheat stuff. You guys showed me how to do that. And here's my gate. Nope. There it is. One thing I'm learning about Minecraft, though, is that you, you have to be open to... Like, if you build something, you might have to rebuild it or something. Because, look, I would want this to sit perfectly in the middle, but it doesn't because of the odd amount of blocks that I started with. So I guess I have to learn ahead of time to work with even numbers of blocks so that when I do things like decide to put in a gate, like there's four posts on this, five posts on this side, but only four on that side. So I don't know. I think I'm throwing a dart because I, I'm old. But the house looks dope, guys. And it's because of you guys, so thank you. Okay. This goes here. Take one quick look at the house, sweep of the house, looks good. We look good. I'm gonna go up into the bedroom and let's go listen to some music. Check out my library. I read books. All right, let's go listen to some music. Ouch. All right. <sighs> Let me get my browser open again. Oh, here they come. Everyone's coming in now. Everyone's coming in. After the old man had a full-on heart attack. This is this particular VOD is staying in my super special file. I'm going to be editing out some of the, you know, my best hits. <laughs> uh, full studio. Here we go. Okay, we're back here. 
I'm just getting my stuff in a row here. All right, here we go. All right, before I get going, a few people followed and subbed to me. Bert, Mer Bert McMeyer, thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate it. And um, once Coleman X of whatever has raised you with a party of six, I don't know what that means, but it looks really cool. So thank you very much for that. And Fist, Fist, Fist Kidoto, thanks for the follow. All right, anybody else that I miss here? No, I got to call everybody. All right, guys. Let's do this. <coughs> um, all right. What are we doing? Dun, 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 dun. What's this? Pilot Wing 64. Birdman is the name of a video game, I guess. Let's see. Let me f continue. I want to make sure I get the right thing in here. Uh, so Birdman looks like a really cool... Maybe it's a flying game, yeah? Is that what this is? Uh, is there a particular... Uh, Pilot Wing 64 OST 10 Birdman. Would that be this one? Let me make sure I get that. I, I don't know if I've got the, you know, this is like a 10 hours worth of retro. I'm thinking it's this one, right? Um, it's like three minutes and 35. Yeah, the second one. Okay. All right, guys. This looks really cool as far as the game is concerned. I like stuff like that. I think some of the most memorable time that I had when I did play Halo um, was maneuvering the, the various helicopter or that one thing that had the two blades on the side so you can hit the scarab, you know, constantly pounding on the scarab and stuff. Man, I loved flying that thing. Anything that you get into something like the vehicles, the warthogs, the scarab, and even some of the things when you would you know kill the other guys and get into their rigs and stuff like that I'm that guy I like to like you know I want to be the the tanks and the stuff this this is probably a game kind of close to that yeah yeah flight simmy simsy kind of thing yeah the Hornet was badass loved uh, the Hornet all right that was just me sharing my joy here we go guys this is um, pilot wing 64 all right Oops, negative. I'm going to start that again because I have my volume down and I'm old composer, composer fail while I'm live streaming. All right, here we go. <laughs> Ooh. This is going back from some old rootsy funk vibes from the 70s. that riff right there. Right there. Okay, this is really, really super, like, you know, the choice, what year did this come out, you guys? Would you mind telling me uh, what year this game came out? Because sometimes I can kind of put it together. I mean, this is a Nintendo, but I don't know how far, how long ago it was. Um, and sometimes when I find out what year it is, in my mind, I can kind of say, oh, okay, it's you know, uh, the choice of instrumentation and stuff. 
1996. Okay, so this is like this is breaking eight away from the eight bit through the sixteen bit because um, everything is obviously mono still. Yeah, there's no real richness in our dynamics and the sound of the music. Um, so where the composer is pulling from, without a doubt, is a very sultry '70s Motown kind of vibe. You know, little 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 tweaks on on pseudo pushing into some jazz configuration a little bit playing around with the chords. Um, that lead sound too, I think what makes it um, uh, very kind of, yeah, baby, wow, is the fact that it's not um, monophonic. It's it's mono, but it's not a monophonic signal out of a synth. Uh, so those little, you know, those little that I'm doing with my mouth in that lead kind of vibe. It's just like I'm. It's it's like it's like from the movie Shaft. <laughs> For those of you, I don't think anybody here remembers the movie Shaft. You'd have to be old school uh, if you if you do, and maybe you're you have a broad palette of uh, uh, exposure. But very hey, what's up? Yeah. Now the other thing is too, is that um, um, yeah, shut your mouth. <laughs> Who just said that? Yeah, uh, 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 LAMAO boat. That was funny because that was the thing from Chef. Like, shut your mouth. <laughs> it was a very classic, very classy, classic moment in the history of music and TV and stuff, uh, or in film and whatever. On was it a TV show or was it a film? I forgot. Anyhow, all that being said, what's really unique about this is I just went on for two minutes about the Motowny-ish vibe of it. But I'd really love to know. You guys tell me what is actually happening when this music is playing. Is this is this one of those kind of games where you're like collecting things, you know, like awards and stuff, and then occasionally you have to watch out for, let's say, the the bad cloud or a or a balloon that floats by and something of that nature. You know, it'd be really cool. I, I really really love this track. Now they just changed the melody sound. A little bit of riffiness from like the theme of Taxi. It's got that, you know. Total lounge bar, but what's actually happening in the game here? If anybody plays this, what's happening here? Does anybody know? By virtue of changing the, the instrumentation on the lead, it kind of changes that feeling a little. Kind of a little wah organ there. For a video game, this might, you know, you'd be flying whatever you're flying, and you know, people are saying it's different, you know. Oh, it was a loop, man. That was great, man. I so, so dug that. That was so laid back, and I was so, in, I was just so into the track, you know. It wasn't so much about breaking it down or, or, or reacting to it or something as much as it was just really being into the track, and 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 also to know once again, yes. In 16-bit, there was already some stereo um, dynamics that composers could apply to it, be it reverb or, or delay and stuff. Uh, but this was just right up the middle. This was kind of packed right in the middle there in a mono signal. But 
there's no two ways about it. The sounds they were using were definitely a result of 16K plus. You know, I think we're even past. I think 1996, guys. Isn't 1996 past the 16-bit um, uh, era and starting to move into a little more robust uh, music? You know, and even so, you know, I ask you guys, even so, it doesn't mean that the devs still don't decide to say, hey, well, no, we, we can do all that, but let's keep it nice and intimate. Because that's what this track was. Um, yeah, it's a little past the 16-bit, okay. But now we're into 64-bit. Yeah, there, there's, it, the, because of that, obviously, then um, the instrumentation, the, the organ sound, the monophonic lead, the nice little bass line and stuff like that. Okay, so that's a great uh, example of, let's say they pushed into 64-bit. But the dynamic aspect of it, the width of it, you know, um, wasn't quite there. And once again, we've heard video game music you guys have turned me on to that have been in the 2000s, in the mid-2000s, the early 2000s, you know, 2010, that's still elected to use 8-bit, um, uh, 16-bit style composition and sounds to maybe use that as an element of nostalgia for gamers, you know, who might recognize that as a trigger point, as a memory trigger and sound, you know, to part of the marketing of the game too. It's a very important part of it, you know, as I'm learning. Um, it has, there's a lot of elements to video game composition and stuff that have to do with what audience they want to pull in, both visually and sonically, you know, so those compositions have a lot, you know, uh, have a lot of thought process going into the production of that, from what I can understand. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, exactly. It's it's. I forgot it's the the chip tune thing. I would. You know what? I really want to mess around with a little chip tune funness. You know, call up my stuff and see what it would be like to compose a little something like that. But um, I I already have a little bit of footage from my last couple of journeys with my Minecraft that I think I'm going to edit together and do my own soundtrack for coming up. So that would be kind of fun. All right, guys, let's go. Hey, I recognize this. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait wait wait, guys. Nope, that's not it. What the heck was that? Confun it? That's not fair. It did that to me. I, I clicked on something on my... Um, wait a second. Stand by for one second. Why did that do that to me? Oh, I because I, I clicked on a playlist. I'm sorry. My bad. Hang on for one second. Um, wait a second. I saw something. I had to play this. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. How do I find it? Wait, I can do this. Nope, I don't want to do that. Um, give me a second here for one second. Let me see if it's in the playlist here. It's not. All right, guys, just give me a second here for a second, a second of half a second. I'm looking for something because I want it. it now, now, all of a sudden. All right, forget it. My browser freaked out on me. All right, my bad. Okay, um, let's uh, another one, guys. Fire another one at me. Hi, Joe G. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming out over here on the chat. Oh, did somebody just prime me? Mikisu. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Uh oh. I like doing the ones I think that catch my eye, and uh, hang on for a second. Wow, it's bombing me. Okay, wait a second. Okay. I think I got this right. What is Super Moon? Is this a video game? Oops, freaking pause my thingy. Um, 
No Man's Sky is the game, and the name of the track is Supermoon. Okay. No Man's Sky. So, it looks like, gang, that um, this caught my eye. So let's do this. Uh, this is called uh, No Man's Sky. That's the name of the, of the game. And this is called Supermoon. So let's do this. All right. It's kind of like a Minecraft thing, huh? But in space. Oh, all right. Trippy kick drum. Like an off flange flam, I mean. band performing this? Kind of, you know what? It kind of has a like an ambient ethereal EDM approach, but with the live drums, actually that drum, the the drum playing actually to me is actually taking, you know, the focus on the responsibility of the focus, and you know, not we all know this without a doubt. Uh, not everything is based on a melodic structure of notes. Uh, to be catchy, you know, a melody. Da -da 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 -da. If that's a melody, that's a melody. And a lot of times we're uh, through the through what I call the rhythmic ceremonial ritual of which how our lives function by beats and rhythms and 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 tempo. Um, sometimes something of this nature just gets you into that head bobbing kind of a groove. How it's played. The, the instrumentation on how the drums are, if it's a wider, thick snare sound with, you know, more of an organic room sound, or be it really tight, as small as like, let's say a funeral drum or a marching drum or something like that. You know, that rhythmical vibe and that arrangement kind of pulls you <coughs> first. As a matter of fact, a lot of times that's what we're even, believe it or not, we're actually affected by that. In my opinion, the rhythmical aspect of any arrangement or melody is what we're pulled into. You know, uh, it depends what kind of mood we're in, you know. And in this case, there is these ambient, you know, the vocals in the background going, the piano and stuff that are being more of these whole notes. Ba, ba, ba. What's happening? And there's that little arpeggiation happening with the piano and the vocals are flying. Still, that drum, and by virtue of it being a little hotter in the mix, it's really giving us, it's really kind of the, what is it? The zip line. Come on back, Neppy, when you can. Thanks for hanging out.
there's a little bit of that shoegaze element. That was a trippy piece, and I, I really kind of dug it because I, I love leaving myself open for these experiences. Like, for instance, I have a few people here apparently who are from my heavy metal channel. Thanks for coming by. Um, and, you know, that's another fun thing, too, that I enjoy about the chats and stuff is that people can come in and, you know, share what their thoughts are and how it feels. And, and there's some really good things that are being said here. Um, but, yeah, you know black box that's why I kind of mentioned a little bit of that shoegaze kind of vibe um, and it, it has it, it is it is a very I know for a lot of people shoegaze or I I guess shoegaze really if you were to say shoegaze you it means a band of musicians with guitars and drums and bass that through their post effects and their stomp pedals and stuff give you these really long washed rinsed um, psychedelic pad sounds that really envelop you in this kind of uh, ethereal ambient kind of vibe but it's done with a band however from what I understand and from what I'm learning um, that same technique take that technique and translate it into different uh, uses which is long power chords or certain things that have these hybrid dynamics and stuff in there you know, chord changes, bang, dang, 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 but they have these long tails, and those long tails can be manufactured in a digital world by so many different ways. You can have it grow into, like if you were to hit down like on a MIDI stack, bing, and then all of a sudden it grows into a rich, thick uh, arrangement that's behind it. A trick that sometimes that I used to use way back in the day to create that effect um, would be like so I'm, I'm doing these let's say these chord changes but in whole notes bone three four bone two three dun, dun, and something of that nature that that would be the core of it the hitting down on the one but coming in on the two maybe toward, close to the third beat would be an assigned series of rich pads that would come in behind it with a delay bong swing but it would be very way back in the mix and i'd even kind of saturate it with more reverb to give it that kind of growing ethereal universe kind of vibe in your head you know that kind of stuff and you know so i i guess shoegaze must be just the band version of that but i definitely have to check this out and maybe do a track on these guys on my heavy metal channel 65 days of static yeah i'm into that my my heavy metal channel is going through a very odd flux right now in uh uh youtube's algorithm is uh not being very friendly i think maybe my content might be getting boring too and predictable there's so much to think about when you're doing youtube stuff sometimes it's like ugh, i just want to wake up in the morning i just want to choose a track from the list and sit down and just listen to the music and people come but the algorithm has not been treating me very well on my decomposer lounge so I don't know maybe it's because I have two channels going right the OST and the heavy metal who knows who knows okay um, let's see let me read a couple comments really quick da, 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 Sonic 3 soundtrack Ooh, I do have to check out Sonic as well um, all right, guys, let's um, <coughs> excuse me. Let's do one more OST, and then we'll get back to uh, my gaming expose. Hi, C2K. Thank you so much for the follow. As Crooked Doc Twenty and uh, Hotkey Lovecraft. Thank you for the Prime as well as oh, I recently. Okay, here we go. Let me read the comments here as you fire through.
Lotsa, lotsa, lotsa. Okay, I, I'm going to try one. Okay, here we go. Drum roll. Right, I think I may have done one from this game before. I didn't spell it right, but sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, this is uh, something called Bayonet. And I think, uh, is Bayonet a video game or is this an anime? It looks like more like a video game. Uh, it looks like a, a, a vixen-y champion of the world, right? Is that what this is? Uh, but I do, so Fly Me to the Moon, I guess that's being said here that Fly Me to the Moon is like, Fly Me to the Moon. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's a cover. Uh, it's not for small children. Okay, Bayonet. Yeah, Bayonet. Um, she's a witch. Bwahaha. It's a Japanese action game where you play witch killing angels. Oh, okay, well, you know, hey, a game's a game's a game. I'm here for the music. So, you guys, let's do this together. This is from the game Bayonetta. And the name of the track is Fly Me to the Moon. Let's do this. All right. Good piano riff back there. unique blend of trying to keep in the traditional aspect of the string sounds in the background but the arrangements are so fusion jazzy on this um, what's really nice about this is that that melody is so subdued and laid back now the thing is about that is that it sounds like it's actually in the same tempo ish kinda from the old school days except it's in double time you know, it, it also depends. I mean, if, it, if it's the old Frank, it's like, hey, fly me to the moon. Da, 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 say. It depends on how you perform it, obviously, and how many thousands of covers of this. By the way, this had to have been a mint for them to license out. Um, you know, this isn't, act, you know, this isn't the master, obviously, but it, to be able to do a rewrite on the publishing for a video game, boy, I would love to have seen what that deal looked like. But, um, what I love about it is, is that melody is still soaring and very beautiful, but because they have that kind of pseudo disco y kind of vibe to it with the, ki with the kick snare uh, or the hat kick kind of vibe going on, what I love are the two little, um, what I would call super melody supporters with the piano in the background. Do you get a good day? And then it changes off, it sounds like, for a second to a little monophonic lead that goes back and forth. So I love that kind of stuff. You know, if you're going to do a cover, you got to put your stamp on it somehow. Not everyone's going to watch it or, or enjoy it. As a matter of fact, there's a cover on my heavy metal channel that's got over, well over a million views. And it's of the guy who um, did a Simon Garfunkel song, but he's the lead singer of, um, oh, I forget the name of the band. Yeah, the lead singer, like, he used to be a cantor. He's a bald guy. Very famous metal band. Obviously, I can't remember the name. Uh, disturbed, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. So the, the, he did a cover from a Simon and Garfunkel, and it's either you love it or you freaking hate it. 
the, sometimes the comments on there, I just go, wow. But that's because of the impact it's made on the soundtrack of life of that particular individual leaving that comment. I mean, truth be told, I mean, there really hasn't been a lot of covers of songs that I remember as a young person that I would say, hey, man, that rivals or is better. Yeah, it's just because of where you remember. When you listen to it, where were you in your life, you remember it. But if you're open-minded and stuff, you know, you take that time to give somebody a shot. That particular um, cover, the Disturbed cover of the Simon and Garfunkel song is pretty absolutely insane. <laughs> Xylophone. And I do want to stop one more time and just say, and then I'm going to listen to it for the rest of it uh, without stopping. Uh, what I what I love and what they did in the approaching the production and the arrangements of this cover is that they didn't over torch it with shoving the percussive element of the of the EDM house disco-y kind of vibe up in your face and make it hotter and more <laughs> is that how people do that with their voice <laughs> you know what i'm saying they didn't they didn't um, they didn't sanitize it if you would by shoving that in the, in the mix way up in the face it's there you know the little cheesy snare sound and all that that's all there but it's not overdriven in your face. And even the nice, with that beautiful melody, even the breathing strings behind it are flowing. So the fact that they decided not to go ahead and shove that, that disco-y, house-y vibe, you know, down your throat, but they still have it there as part of their signature way of doing the cover, I really love that. And the fact, like I said, they're flexing in between leads and piano, a little xylophone coming around and swimming around and really kind of like, you know, it's almost like, like the melody is the whale of the song, this glorious melody we all, you know. And let's just imagine, okay, everybody, let's just, Im let's just imagine the whale swimming through this ocean of arrangements. But then you have all the new fishes going. <laughs> I don't know where that came into my mind. It's like theater to the mind, but that's just the way it felt. If you're... If you're a fan of this game and I just pulled away the whole joy for you on that, but that was just the only kind of theater of the mind that I can get out of that. Oh, the little fishies. <laughs> I love that background vocals right there, the answer back. And listen to the subtle bass. See, I know it's looping, but now with the vocals gone, listen to these arrangements.
Okay, I know it's looping from here, and I'm going to stop. First of all, somebody said something about a raid. I don't know what a raid is, but um, uh, is that when people get invited in by somebody else, says something to somebody and says, come over and hang out with this old man killing himself in Minecraft and enjoying music? I don't know what that means. A hundred viewers from, an from another streamer. Oh, that's super cool. I think <laughs> that's a good thing. Unless, you know, but thank you so much. That's badass. Thank you. I don't know who that other streamer was, but thank you for the raid. I didn't know what that meant, but, um, and you too, a cook, cook of Queens. Thank you. That's super, super cool. Twist stream and defaulted their thing. Oh, well, that, that's great. All right. <laughs> that's, that's totally cool. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Anyhow, really quick, briefly, what I loved of the fact is when the melody came out, you're able to hear <clears throat> what is really happening in the background. Let's just go back a little bit, and then I know it's looping, but let's go back, and I want you to hear when she stops singing. Remember I was talking about all those little elements and arrangements that are happening from the piano and a little xylophone and stuff? Listen to how badass that is. We have this beautiful melody, but all this stuff that's happening in the background, man, it's, it's almost like looking at a car engine. At the end of the day, the engine is supposed to put power to the wheels, and you go. But all the intricate parts have to work in unison in order for that to happen. And this is a great example of that. I should use that metaphor more often. Let's see here if this is far enough. Let's listen. Strings, melody, xylophone, background vocals, all pumping. Also, before I, I let this fade out, or I'm going to fade out in a second, I want you to go ahead and I'm, seriously put your ear to the bass line on this. You know, it's done in the kind of a muted synth sound where it's not abrasive and it's not... This, this is what I'm talking about, the care that the producers took in this cover to make sure that the core elements of what the song is really steeped on, which is, you know, beautiful melody and these very unique counter-melodic arrangements that are happening, that they didn't rob us of that joy by putting in all these other elements of this cover of it being kind of a house mix and double time and stuff like that. Listen to the subtle bass sound and how they use it. It's, the bass is cooking. But the sound is what really makes it work for me. That'd be a great place for me. If I had my guitar out, I'd be laying a solo in there. <laughs> See how my brain works? All right. All right. Yeah, it's fading out. Yeah, it's, it's hard. That's the thing. If you don't have your cans on or if you don't have a good set of headsets, a lot of times... Some of the nuances of some of the elements of, co of compositions, they don't, they don't make it through. And it really depends on what you're listening. You know, some people are listening through earbuds on their phones and stuff like that. So you lose a little bit of, you know. These headsets here that I have, um, they're, they've been industry standard headsets for over 45 years. They're, they're AKG 240s. And, um, but they're not like... A hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars. These things are thinking like sixty nine dollars, and they're open ear. Not even though this is closed. For those of you who don't know, open ear means there's an element back in here where air still moves around with your listening experience. So you pick up these different nuances. I don't know where I've got. Um, I think I have. 
let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, just give me a second, because I can. Hey, everybody, how you doing? This is Jeeves here. You're all Cut up, you. Uh, let me see if I have it maybe here. Uh, maybe I have it here. Stand by just for one second. Da, 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 da. Yeah, these right here. I'll pop these in, in, in the comments here if you just want to take a peek at these headsets. Because uh, they, they're really sick. And they have RCA connection as well as quarter inch. But they're super, super true to the ear. So there you go. Right there in my little, how do you do? Look at that funny face I make. All right, guys. Um, here's the deal. Uh, we're going to do one more journey through Minecraft. And then we'll do two more OSTs. And that'll be all for me. Uh, rolling on four hours. And I'm going to do what you guys suggested. Um, I'm going to take this VOD and then, except I'm going to edit out some of the things that happened, like that one couple stops that I had to make. And I'm actually going to throw this two and a half hours up there <laughs> and just have fun. I really, I'm at that place right now where I'm not worried about how I program content for YouTube because I just can't figure out algorithms and names and titles and tags all the time and I just sometimes I feel like a bobo all my friends say no 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 you have to put down old composer reacts to because that's how the algorithm and people who like reactions will look for that and I'm like yeah but I I don't know that I like want to play that enticing game you know you've heard me you've heard me do say this before it's just I just kind of feel weird maybe because I'm an old guy you know or whatever you know to do the special uh, thumbnails you know and with just the faces you know making facial expressions and and just colors and stuff because it'll attract people and I guess that would be the journey if I knew how to make money <laughs> off of these videos but I don't because they're all copyright claimed and truth be told I've put out a couple videos like talking about um, um, you know, like I did the podcast with Marty O'Donnell, and that was really nice, and all those things are nice, but I've sent out emails and messages to all these composers who want to come and want to join me, and they're all really busy and stuff, so this is what I do. I'm this chasing of the, the tags of the names. It's like, <sighs> that's why I think I just like coming here on Twitch and just hanging out, and I can do this, and whatever shit happens here on the channel, it happens, and then I just break it off onto YouTube. It's not to say that the YouTube watchers don't deserve any better or less. I just am not putting a lot of time into thinking about what's best to grow my channel as much as it is just having a great time and maybe people show up and they don't. I don't know. But I know you guys have been having a great time watching me get my ass kicked here on Minecraft. Okay, guys, let's try this again. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, here we go. That's the last time that we journeyed out. Oh, we get some music. Okay. Um, make sure I have my gear on. Okay. I have enough uh, torches. I have food just in case I get pummeled like I did last time. Um, so let's go, guys. Let's um. Let's go back down. See right here, guys. Just just. For those of you who are the Minecraft specialists, I wish I could do something like, you know, the bowls. I think I mentioned it earlier in the in the in the stream. Like the like the mushroom soup bowl is that what they call it or something? Like you could put a bowl there, or like a jar of flowers, or I guess you can't even put f a flower there because that a flower can only be placed on a um, a dirt block, I guess. And I don't want a dirt block in the house. I kind of I don't know there. I'm just saying. So you know. Um, I could do flower pots, patty cakes. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Wow, that's a trip. Okay, I'll have to watch uh, these. Uh, oh, I need clay. Somebody else mentioned something about clay too. Like, uh, like on clay, you have to wait three bricks, and you'll need three clay. Yeah, something like. Uh, also, what I learned something. I came by a video because I guess diamonds are really hard to come by, and those are like the super choppers. That somewhere underwater you have to find clay and then go over and then dig straight down. I don't know. That's a little too. They're near rivers. And it's underwater. All right. I'll have to. 
I'll definitely have to do that uh, maybe on my next stream. We'll do nothing but a clay hunt. But right now, make sure nobody's around me. Right now, guys, I'm going to go for it one more time. This to me is kind of like going to like the remember that in Game of Thrones when at the very beginning you go to the, the, the school or, or over what is it called uh, in, in the north when you got banished where, where did they banish Jon Snow and those guys to the north if they were bad in their kingdoms to that gate what was it called or that, that watch or something like that and they would practice there so this is what I feel like I'm, I'm at right now the, not the red wedding the wall that was it the wall yeah, so you get banished to the wall and then you'd practice and do stuff. So I feel like I'm like, um, I need more torches. Wait a minute, let me, I got 31 for now. Right now I'm just kind of hanging in one little corner. So underneath the mountain to the left, really bad stuff spawns. See, now how do you guys know that? <laughs> I guess I got to learn that on the fly, right? All right, let me get my sword. Okay. I need a few hundred torches. Well, I think I'll probably need all those torches once I go for like real deep walkabouts. Like if I'm really gonna like stray from the, um, and wait, what else am I missing? I'm missing something here, guys, in my rig. What am I supposed to be? Sonic Stormer, thanks, man. Where's my, oh, where, where is, oh, here it is. Shield. Now, my pants have less power left than everything else. Why? Is it because I'm shitting in my pants when I'm getting my ass handed to me? <laughs> I'm looking at the power grid of my pants, and I have a funny feeling. The reason why it doesn't have any power is because I've been leaving little skip dingleberries in there every time. <laughs> Skid mark dingleberries every time. I oh, it's because it's leather. Okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking. It just would make sense, right? All right, that's it's leather. All right, I got to make metal pants. All right, well here we go, guys. <sighs> Swear to God, I literally need to take a breath to do this. Okay, I'm much your man. Just take the sword and shove it up your ass. Okay, that was an embellishment on an original piece by what famous comedian said that? Okay, here we go, guys. All right, so this is good. No, it wasn't George Carlin. It was uh, Richard Pryor. No, it was Richard Pryor. Okay. So I take it because I have all these torches out, I don't see anybody, right? So there's nobody. I don't, oh, where, where, where is he? Oh, shit. So wait a minute. So they can spawn, but um, swinging is this way. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, good. I didn't take too much heat. Only two hearts. Okay, guys, you got to help me with that. If if you're saying if I put out torches, they cannot spawn there, but then they can spawn outside of the torches and come in. Is that like what is, you know, is that I can't. Oh, shit. You look, look, they're just coming out of nowhere. What is this? It's like somebody just kicked over an ant farm. I'm gonna run and hide this way. Nope, this ain't gonna work. Okay, I'm getting ganged up on now. Um, so I'm gonna turn and face them. There's three of them. Wait a minute. Um, how do I how do I manage this? I'm just a monkey. Boom! Hit and run. Is that a good way to do it? Okay, I'm just going. I'm just going. We're going. We're going. I'm sorry. Oh, there's four of them. What? My heart level is going down. Maybe there's no reason for me to stay and fight them, right? Maybe I should just run away and just go somewhere else and do something else. Evasive. Be evasive. So, oh, you, punk. I can use some string anyhow. Okay. Um, yeah, but I can do this all day long. Where'd they go? 
Oh, I wish I had like some kind of bomb. Don't we have any kind of things that we can shoot at these guys? No way, I'm gonna get you guys. Oh, no hearts. Oh man, you see, I'm not getting it. This is like, I guess there's no real sense in sticking around and fighting these guys, right? It's not like I get any winner points. I can make TNT? Oh. Oh, good. I think they fell down a pit. Run and take cover. Screw it. You're right. I, you know... I guess the thing is in Minecraft is that... Um, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with these guys. Is not to stay and encounter them because it's not like a boss fight, right? I'm assuming that like the boss fights, like you get past boss fights and games and stuff and you get awarded stuff. In here you don't get, you just use your gear to fend off these guys while you're trying to build your home. Is that generally it? I don't, you know, guerrilla warfare, not night style. Yeah, I guess that's it. I, I think I may have gotten the idea. I'm reading the comments, but I don't know if I should be while I'm out here in the open. Yeah. I guess there's a little zone before the skeletons could actually see me, right? How do I get one of their bows? Do I kill a skeleton to get a bow? Look, I can still run around these guys, punk these guys, forget that stuff, I can go. But how do you can make a bow is sticks and string. Oh, so I killed a spider, so I got string. But yes, I think if... Okay. Oh, damn, look how many of these guys are. All right, I'm out of here. Sorry. My bad. I've been dicking around too long. Uh-oh. Oh, man, I blew it. I got to, I gotta, like, juke. It's like my old hockey days. Ring, ring. I'm juking. Ooh. Oh, come on! Oh, I didn't see that I had no hearts. All right, so that means I'm really close to my house, so I can respawn, grab my stuff, and then we'll listen to some music, and then I'm done. All right, how about that? It's too much for me to watch, man. I got the hearts things going on. I got the food thing going on. I don't know how to use my shield and then hit at the same time. I'll get it, though. I ain't going to give up. Trust me. But, okay, let's respawn. And then let me get my stuff, and then I'll uh, shack up, and we'll go back and listen to some music. So, respawn. Wait a minute. My stuff's out there with those guys. If I go to sleep, will my stuff be out there, and then wake up? Hurry up, tell me. I think I only got a few minutes. Or do I have to draw these guys? Oh, so if I go to sleep, it'll still be there? Oh, okay, good, good. Because I was thinking I'd have to draw these guys away and then run back and grab it. Okay, here we go. Sleep time on my blue bed. All right. Look at that. It, it, it even tells me how many times I effed up and got killed. <laughs> I love that little reminder when you go to sleep and you respawn. It tells you in that little area. It goes, you have been murdered six times. You have been... <laughs> Thanks. Wow, look at all those guys. So roasted. There's going to be a lot of stanky meat out there, isn't there? I'll just wait for you to be all singed out. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, I left my door open this whole time? Oops, spider. Wait, is this my stuff here? Yep, here it is. Side next to all this crap meat. Ding, 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 ding. And my sword. And there's my hoe. Sorry, honey, not you. Okay. Leave all that stank meat out there to rot. But I will pick up some bones, though, and some arrows. So let me do that. Um, there's a lot of bones and arrows here, so I can, I can get bone meal, right? When I learn how to make an arrow, I guess, I mean a bow, I guess I can use these things. All right, guys, let me assemble back at home. I got my parts. Let's go listen to some music. 
Uh, I do want to check on my buddy though first really quick. Just make sure he's happy. Everybody, you guys know who I'm checking up on, right? Chris. Here we go. Let's see how Chris P. Bacon is doing. Hi, Chris. How you doing, buddy? Oh, you turned your back on me, huh? I'm sorry. I will bring you some friends. I promise. I'm learning how to put you guys on my boat and swimming you back. So, all right, Chris. All right. Everybody say hi to Chris. Say hi to Chris. How's it? And now we're going to go... Um, oh, I got to get my steak. Thank you. Hey, see Chris? Everybody in the chat saying hi to you. Look, he's being shy right now. His face in the corner. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's say aloha to Chris. I'm going to go upstairs and get my steak. Oh, you don't have to face. You're not grounded. Nobody put Chris in the corner. Hello, Chris. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Floating at the edge, you say, is my steak. It looks a lot like the uh, rotten flesh. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Is this a steak right here? Oh yeah, it looks different than... That's the rotting flesh. All right. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Carrots. Can Chris eat carrots? Stank meat. Got some stanky meat. I didn't realize that Chris can, can eat food. Oh, okay. Oh, that's how you... See, that's what I need to learn next, is, is that, and also the turtles. There's something about turtles. Um, I have some carrots. I just didn't know what to do with it. I mean, I guess I can eat them. But then I also have to learn what to do is... I know the, tur the spider's all sped right now because... Yeah, he meandered on. Okay. Big potatoes things of your mind. Thank you so much for the prime drop. Okay. Guys, I have to tell you, because of this journey with you guys, how long have I been playing Minecraft now? About a month, I think. Or at least bringing it on board. But you guys have showed me so many super cool things that my house looks great. You know, some things I had to figure out myself. Like, I was really frustrated by not having a table, but so I put that there. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for all your help. Make a bow and arrow out of... Wait, okay, let me do that right now. How do I make a bow and arrow? Wait a minute. Let me look at my stuff. I got to make some room, I think, for stuff, yeah? I got arrows. There's my... Let me just put my clothes back on <laughs> just so I can make space here yeah that's that's a good idea yeah I can make space I wonder how many ignots I have ignots do I have any ignots I got to spare this I'd like to make a pair of pants don't you think that would be badass right I've got six can I make a pair of pants out of six ingots um can it can I Anybody know if I can make... Well, I guess I can try, yeah. Seven for pants. Of course. Uh, but, oh, wait a minute. Then I can do this, can't I? Wait. I can. I got some raw iron. I just need to cook a couple, right? So I'll put that here. Make sure I have any charcoal. I got coal. Okay, stand by. I'm getting it, guys. Now, I can take... Oh no, I have to cook the iron first. Yes, I need put the coal there and then iron. Is that right? I just smelt all of my ore. Is this one of those things where I'm learning where I'm realizing like I've got all this stuff that's hovering. How many pieces did I get there? Okay, that'll make seven. Okay, because I'm not going to do it now. We're streaming and all that. I can always do it on my own time. But from what I understand, I think what I end up have to do is like I can make a big pot of coffee and have like craft food service. And what I need to do is take advantage as, as, as much as I can to make the secondary level things that you can make out of things that you mine and have them ready. I think that seems to be the, the, the call. Like, yeah, you can burn eight items with coal. So... 
Okay. Um, let me do this. Let me get this. What happened to all my other... Oh, here they are. Okay, guys. I have a funny feeling. I'm going to make pants. This is how you do it. The E. Do I need to... Wait. Oh, do I have to go to the crafting table to make pants? There they are! I... I have created pants. I have made pants. That's cool. What's this? What's bone meal for? Well, I might as well make some torches. Everyone's telling me I'm torch deficient. Let's see how many torches I just made there. 64 torches. Okay. So I'm not torch deficient anymore. Let me get rid of my bones. I'll do something else with that later. I might as well get rid of my purple trousers. Wait a second. Okay, now let me put my pants on. Uh, e. Guys, look at me. I'm rigged. Look at that. I am now 100% rigged. How come I don't have a, um, a speed bar underneath my pants? Is it because they haven't been hit yet? Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Smell iron ore with coal. Looking spiffy. The, dar the bar is durability. Oh, because it's not damaged yet. Okay, thanks, Skippy. You're nearly rigged. Get your bow. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, help me with this, guys, and then we'll go to music. Um, what do I, what do I need to make a bow? I need string. The bow is in my chest. Is it? Oh, it's right here, right in front of me. Dough. Okay, that bow I didn't make. I think I got because I killed a skeleton or something like that. Because I know I didn't make it. Um, okay, stand by. What am I doing? I'm, I'm lost. Okay, wait. I need tutoring really quick. And then I promise we'll go listen to music. Okay, now that I have the bow... If I put the bow in my hand... I take it I can shoot. Like, I don't want to waste arrows or something if I lose them. Arrows in my inventory, and you right-click patty cakes. The longer you hold it, the farther it fires. Okay, the bow's in the hot bar. Okay. Rob, 52, 51. You can craft arrows. Okay, good, good. Okay. Um, if, if I... So do I have to put... Um, okay, stand by. I gotta go back to this then. Now I gotta grab arrows. Where did I put these arrows? They're here somewhere. I can't see. You guys probably see it faster than I do. Nope, it's not in that one. Maybe it's in this one. What the hell happened to my arrows? It's in my inventory? Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. So many things to look at. Okay, all right, now. W now that I have arrows in my hot bar and, and, and uh, the bow, and there's more in the first chest. Thank you, Clutch. Appreciate it. <laughs> I need that second bit of eyes. Vinny DJ Pun, what? Just having the arrows in your inventory is enough. Oh, the uh, so the arrows will automatically... Um, uh, the bow, when I start shooting the bow, will just start pulling the arrow inventory down. Okay. Okay. So, then if that's the case, my last question is, before I take one test fire, I will test fire here on my dirt here. Can I recover my own arrows if, let's say, I misfire? Do they land in a place where I can recover? Because when I try to run over the arrows that the skeleton shoots, it, I won't be able to, I don't recover those. So you're saying I can. Okay, let me take a test fire, guys. Here we go. I'm going to take a test fire. And what is it? Left click or right click to shoot the arrow? Um, Fate Unleashed says. Okay, here we go, guys. Test, test fire. Pew, pew. 
Oh, you hold it down for strength. Oh, kind of reminds me of a golf game. Yeah? Like the longer you hold it or something. And now I can... Ah, oh, that kills. Okay. So then I can use these on zombies, right? Ha, 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 Thank you, Masquerade. Uh, one Masquerade. All right. Okay, Quiller. All right, I, I'm getting it now. Okay, guys, let's go listen to some music. Let me just take a look at my... Should I take, like, my gear off? Because does he get all sweaty and shit before he goes to sleep? <laughs> it's like if I wanted to go to sleep, I would take off all my rig. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Wait, let me put this up here just to make him, like, in full commando now. Stand by. All right, so now... Now my dude's in full commando. Wait a second. Okay, gotcha. I am in full commando mode now. You can shoot off your paintings, by the way. Oh, I didn't know that. It's time for a new headshot. Get a, It's time for a creeper headshot. All right, look, I'm going to save it for the next time. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm too afraid. Um, I think there's a creeper out my door. Should I try one, guys? Should I just go ahead and try one and just see what happens? Like if I stand in my doorway. Hey. <laughs> I feel like this scary little, like, I don't know, Dad. I don't know. Sleep first. Should I try one or sleep first? Put the number one if you want me to try one, or number two if I should sleep first. I know, but I just want to see if it... One if I try two, 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 one, two, one, two. I don't know. It's tie goes to the runner. I, all right, well, I'm going to try one. Okay, let's try one. I'm just, and I'm not staying for the kill, though. I just want to stick one guy. I know they won't die. I'm, I want the spider near me. Okay, there's a guy right there. I feel like I'm a sniper, like, a, like an old-school first, first-run sniper where I'm not good enough to get close enough with a knife. Remember that from Leon? You guys remember from The Professional? That, that what's-his-name got really weirded out because Leon wanted the sniper gun. Okay, aim up. Oh, it'll arch? Aim high. Okay. Oh, jeez. I'm nervous. Okay, guys. You're going to walk me through this. Here we go. Where is he? Should I get closer? Oh, good. Here's some guys here. I'm practicing on these guys. Okay, here we go. Ooh. He's coming at me. Ah! <laughs> I just hit and run. <laughs> Let me get out. Me... All right, 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 all right. Everyone's pissed at me now. <laughs> That was great. Okay, I mean, I got a little bit of my stuff got, got you know, got, got shipwrecked, but at least now. <laughs> I bet you guys were probably at your house or wherever you are going, move, move, dude, you're going to get wrecked. But I survived. All right, let's, let's listen to some music. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, wait a minute. Skippy says I can patch it. How do I patch my armor? I bolted him. Test successful. Yes, thank you. All right. Um, is uh, I'm just waiting for that answer before. Oh, he meant. Oh, okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. Anvil repair it. Oh, 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 with an anvil. Okay, got it. Okay, that's going to be on my next list. Okay, here we go. No, you know what I did do, guys. By the way, the reason why there's no creeper hole. Is I found, you see, no creeper hole. The reason why there's no creeper hole is because I did, if you guys were in my stream like two weeks ago, I was livid. Because one of those guys blew up all this work I did by the house. And I'm just too much of a noob to go through that stress. So I found, um, like I looked up how to stop creeper from blowing up holes. And I, I guess there's that little code. There's a little hack code or whatever that if you hit, I don't know, something you can input this little code. And so what it does is it stops this guy from leaving holes. So he's still going to blow up and he'll still kill you. 
but he doesn't leave the holes. I because I don't have I don't look guys. I'm 61 years old. I don't have a lot of time in my life to keep repairing blown up holes. So I I disarm the hole blowing up. He could still blow up, but I disarm that um, thingy. So oh my gosh. Okay, let's um let's get ready for some music, guys. Let me put down my gear really quick just for a second. Just want to put my shield down and um, want to put my bow down. Let's move my stuff there. When I'm done cooking, I'm done doing things. Let me move my arrows around. I just like to keep a tidy house. I'm sorry, that's just my thing. Okay, am I good? I can sleep with my irons on because it's like, you know, when you're a kid and you get your first wetsuit or you get your first motocross stuff, you like to sleep in it. Remember those days? Any of you guys ever do that? Like, I don't know, whatever. It could be just some thing that you've always wanted. And when you first got it, you made sure it went with you to bed. Or you could put it in your bedroom so you wake up in the morning. You'd see it there. That's kind of a... Jesus. I just looked over my shoulder, guys. I almost s my pants because my green screen's behind me. And I'm so into this thing. I thought there was a green blow-up guy behind me. <laughs> I almost jumped out of my own seat. I turned this way. I saw my green screen. I thought it was one of the blow up bomb guys. <laughs> yeah, this is t this is a good sure sign that it's time for me to go, but not yet. We have two more OSTs coming, so hang on. Ah, I like that emoji or, or whatever that emote with the with the blow up head guy thing. I got to learn how to make that. Okay. All right. I'm going to move out of the bed. I'm going to hang out here by the library and read a book. Let's go listen to some music. Well, as a matter of fact, I know what I'll do. I need to save this. Yeah, I like those emotes. Those are cool. All right, here we go. First, let me completely save and quit the game. Stand by. I'm saving my world. Okay, now let's go to... This is what I named my full studio stream scene. Oh, right, and there's my face. That's just what I need to be seeing, is how greasy I look to everybody else out there in the world. Let me get off this, at least. Get off of there. Okay, good. All right. All right, guys, fire away. What am I doing next? I only have time for two more. Who's this guy? And if you're new here to the channel, what I do is I just randomly uh, review and listen to uh, video game music as an old composer. And we just kind of rinse and glow over it. So you could just go ahead and start firing away. And if you are new here, I've done quite a few, so I may. Wow, there's a lot of them. Stop. Wait. God dang it. Stand by. Something just happened to my chat. I don't know what just happened. Oh no. My chat froze, guys. Stand by. Something just happened to my chat. I don't know what just the hell happened to my chat. It froze. And now there's something in the middle of it saying something bobo. Oh, here it is. It's back on again. Sorry. Oops, I gotta stop my game in the background. That's why I'm hearing it. <laughs> Negative, there we go. I didn't know I was hearing it. Okay, here we go, sorry, I had to start again. Oh my God, this freaking thing on the chat's killing me, guys. Stand by, oh God, I figured out how to shut it off, okay. Okay, I'm choosing one now. You guys have been firing them on me. And away we go. All right, here we go. The first one. And also, this is from somebody who's new here on the channel. Uh, or I've never had a moment to chat with. 
Uh, let's see what this is all about. Is that a is that a song or is it a video game? Okay, Starbound is the name of a video game, and um, the name of the track, uh, or I guess it's Nova Kid theme. I was. Whoops. Crossface Buffalo Wing. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Uh, real quick before I do this, let me. I, there's a few people that jumped in and gave me some love and support. Um, uh, Mr. Person Man 1313, thank you for the um, subscribe. And also uh, Safiria as well. Things you found of your mind. Thank you so much for your Prime subscribe. I appreciate that. And Art the Miner one. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. As much as I love doing these streams, sometimes it's a little overwhelming. But I just ordered a video card so I can get two monitors. So this back and forth head turning thing, you know, like try to get that under control <laughs> as best as I can. All right. And Gilly Lump in ninety nine. Thank you for the follow. All right, here we go. Oh, you're welcome, Mr. Person Man 1313. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. Okay, here we go. All right. Um, oh, since this is my second to the last one, you guys know how I love to do this. For those of you who follow me or who've been on, you know, come on my Twitch streams. Um, before I get going, just give me an opportunity to take a drink of water. Where are you guys from? What continent or what state? or what, where, or where are you? You guys know I live in Hawaii. That's where I'm at right now, and it's still sunny. It is uh, almost six o'clock uh, in the evening here in Hawaii. Belgium, oh God, so cool. Alberta, Michigan, California, Ontario, Russia, so cool. From around the world, people who love music, the UK, Kansas, the same as last time, <laughs> Daddy Driver, okay. <laughs> Denver, New York, Ireland, oh, love it. Australia. I, I so badly want to surf one day in Australia before my time comes. Still in Brazil, way too hot again. Germany, the state of distress. That was good. I, that was good. Sweden, all right, Maine. And Port Norgala, Australia, not bad surf. Hey, I'm a longboarder, so I, you know, boat wakes. I'm the happiest guy in the world, Kansas and in Cali. Big Island, how's it, brother? Man, he's cold of winds, bro. So hot, eh? Well, you guys get plenty of rain over there or what? Big Island. Sorry, that's that that was code. <laughs> that was it happens, you know. I speak a few languages. Actually, pigeon is a language in and of itself. France from Ivian. First of all, also very first time chatting in. Thank you so much for hanging out. All right, here we go from the white pointers. All right, let me put this here. <sighs> Let's do this. All right, guys. The cuckoo cuckoo to you. Lots of rain, lots of rain. Yes, brah, choke rain, brah. You guys got a lot of rain. We're not getting a lot. I live on the North Shore of Oahu. It's a small community. It's only about five or 6,000 people. There's a little town called Haleiwa. And uh, temperamental weather system out here, but boy, when it rains, it rains. And then we get the um, red water alerts and all the little sharky sharkies coming in and they cleaning them up. Pop, 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 pop. If you know what I mean. <sighs> Lots of rain, chokes rain. Yes, Elvine, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. All right, guys, I'm sorry, I've been yapping. Here we go. This is from the video game Starbound. The name of the track is Nova Kid Theme. I was the sun. Before I start, Please tell me the year, or no, I'm going to start while I'm listening. Tell me the year, and if you wouldn't mind telling me who the composer is. Here we go.
You know, at first I thought it was a banjo, but it's not. I don't think. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of people dropping in with the thoughts on it. You know, I thought, like I said, it was a banjo. And then then leaning into what Kairu was saying, um, uh, Kahiru, sorry, Kairu, um, about it possibly being a koto, uh, because by virtue of whatever the right hand is doing, it didn't seem like it was a pick or a fingering of it. Could have been like the koto. But, but that's why I wanted to know who the, the composer was because, you know, depending sometimes where the composer's from, they infuse a little bit, a bit of their own flavoring, even if it's like, let's say, it's obviously you guys showed me it was a space cowboy kind of vibe. Um, so stay, staying true to the element of, of not spaghetti Western compositions, but that style of, you know, backwoods kind of vibe, guitar, violin, banjo kind of, you know... Um, what's it called bluegrass kind of a thing going there but what's really super cool about this is that there is some really light uh, ostinato work that's being done by I don't want to say it's a cello or viola but they have it really pulled back in the mix so there's some bold brash boom 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 you know uh, be it you know sample played or live um, and if you listen to the back what's happening with that arpeggiation or the pattern that that let's just say it's a koto is playing. If you listen to the strings, I'm gonna go back just a little bit, and I want you to listen on the left side down in the bottom. If you hear this little arpeggiation that's happening there, obviously this is a build for some. Side note, I love the way the video is is responding to the ar arrangements. It's just kind of really super cool. I didn't know, but let me let's take it back a little bit and tell me if you can hear that little arrangement, that little ostinato that's happening on the left side. Oh, so they say it is a banjo. Okay. Yeah, there's there's at least a seven layer cake of rhythmical arrangements happening there really quick I want to answer somebody here weirdness unfolds um, it goes either way for suggestions if you drop them here they have a little bit more sticky value if you drop suggestions in the videos that are on the channels uh, if you come to patreon that's that's nice but I you know definitely lean on the patreon suggestions a little more because I set my price it's kind of up there but but if you do go to Patreon, though, there's a ton of videos there that are only Patreon-oriented, so that, that, that helps. So I hope that answers. Anyhow, I'm sorry. I just wanted to answer that, uh, the question there. Um, 
the the very unique there's there's like multiple layers of rhythmical arrangements that are going on there and one of them sounds like they're actually from the same instrument so if that is let's just say that is the banjo let's just say i'm not too sure because my ears you know fail me many times thinking hey that's a oh, wrong but that uh, upper register pattern that's happening or or that medium register pattern that's happening that's been established in the song there was something that started happening it sounded like the same instrument maybe pot potentially an overdub um in a lower register now that could have also been the pizzicato or a mimicked pizzicato string sound you know where you string violin and cello and string players of an orchestra you might see them go click 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 pling pling plong <laughs> But that kind of thing. Very percussive, though. And a lot of answer backs going on there. You know, so there isn't anything that's happening behind it that is um, a, a long pads or anything. It's a lot of little conversations happening here. And there is a really super cool little rhythmic thing happening. It kind of sounds like a shaker. But it's very unique. I would love, I, I, this is since I've never even heard of this game, I would love to know what's actually happening behind this music. Yes, King Zut, I agree with you on that. That's why I want to know who the composer was. Fading back the instrument, uh, the rhythmical. That's interesting. I just uh, learned from you guys that this is the game that was also developed by um, Stardew Valley, uh, of which I really enjoyed that music. And this composer is Curtis Schweitzer. There is a subtle ethereal pad in that background. That was a really nice piece. I would have loved to have... A little ending there. I like that. I would have loved to have figured out where in gameplay this was. That, that kind of slow down in tempo, that kind of rubato kind of vibe tells me that at least this had to have been like maybe some kind of transition or scene establishing kind of a thing that was happening. Um, or if it's in gameplay. You know, one thing that I've learned because I will have you guys know that I bought the video game Journey. I have not loaded it up yet, haven't even tried it, but I, I committed. And I bought it. And so I think sometime next week, uh, I'm not even going to look at it. I'm going to do it live with you guys here. And you guys are going to have to coach me through everything from square one. But um, one of the things that I saw when I was looking at the Journey screen sh um, um, cut scenes is that um, there seems to be no it's it's like music and video without a lot of clang clang bing bang stuff and that some of these scores for OSTs are of that nature where you could be just going through the forest and you're or you're going through these things and you're looking for things to like do you're picking up you know things to empower yourself up or you're picking food or you're doing things not so much like a minecraft platform or sandbox thing but maybe a little more advanced in in the visuals so this seems to be what to have been one of those tracks of something of that nature you're kind of journeying through but um 
But yeah, I hope you guys come back for me on that on that journey thing because that's not going to be an OST list. Actually, I think the whole journey experience what might be one big giant OST adventure as well because I know me. Even though I'm learning how to do things, however I got to learn to do it, I'll I'll be listening to the music. So, um, all right, guys, um, let's do one more, and then I have to go. I, I'm beginning to feel me kind of like going. I need food. Like I wish I had. I wish I had a. What, what's the bar in Minecraft? And I could just kind of slip over a, a steak and just go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. All right. You guys are fired it. The hot bar, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, I can't help it. I'm Bobo. Oh, my goodness. You guys are shredding me on this. Over. All right, let's, let's end with... with um, oh, my goodness. This is where I just have to do this. I go like this. I go like this. And I tell you what, there, there's there's one that kept coming by a few times since I started here, and it is from Final Fantasy. Um, but I tell you what, because his title this person's title or he or she has changed a few times let's do something from Final Fantasy 14 ready and fire from Final Fantasy 14 because that's what this person keeps firing at me and I figure I might as well do one on one that I recognize so let's do one from Final Fantasy 14 and go that, I mean is it not 14 I'm sorry um, I'm, I'm looking at the Roman cam the Roman things wrong. <laughs> X1V. <laughs> I'm sorry. You would think because I was born during Roman numeral days. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> X1. I'm like the eh, blah. I'm so bobo. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I. I it's see. I told you. This is why this is the last listen. It's creeping on me. Okay. Gosh. All right. What should I do from that? <laughs> Help me on that, guys. Okay. Wow. Did my did my chat freeze? Okay, everyone's coming at me. What's this? Uh, uh. Okay, here we go. I, I found one. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this is the one. Final Fantasy to the Edge. Um, with official lyrics. Seat of Sacrifice theme. Final Fantasy. Okay, here we go. All right, guys. Um, so this is the last one of the evening. Before I start this, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, there's been a lot of great stuff and challenging stuff uh, that's been happening. And uh, as you can see, like I had to dip out of that phone call and had to handle that. And um, I mean, everything's fine. Not epic crisis or anything, but just, you know, plus I'm pretty new at the Twitch thing. So I try to. Yeah, and then of course you guys, I've 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 hit like stress level, glass ceiling, with that journey in Minecraft that I've been going on, you know, and getting blown up and all that. You guys have been working me through, so I definitely have some great stuff. I'm going to go back and edit too, and I promise that I'm going to edit out those sections. I'm going to write some custom music to that. I'll, I'll, I think maybe I'll make it a little doom like. I'm not sure. Anyhow, thank you guys for coming out. This is the last track. Here we go. To the edge, the official lyrics from Final Fantasy fourteen. All right. Whoa, wait a second. It's thirteen minutes long. Hang on. Wait a second. Is this looped? Because the the theme can't be fourteen minutes, huh? Oh, it loops. 
Do the first one. Okay. So I should do the first one then, right, guys? Waiting for you to enter me. Yes. Skeleton. tank. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. <laughs> At least that's half the amount. Okay. It's seven minutes and change. So this will be a nice way to finish off the evening. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. This is Final Fantasy XIV, the OST to the edge. All right. Pretty off-putting, that weird, unique, rhythmical vibe. What a trip. Very dissonant. That's interesting, it's the same singer. Yeah, this is super trippy. I, I, that's a funny comment there that, that uh, you left, Mr. Nathan, about rhythmically dissonant. I think the word dissonance means is, I'm not too sure. You guys look it up on Google, I guarantee it. But to me, from what I understand, the word dissonance has a more of an arbitrary um, definition uh, that a feeling of dissonance would also means uncomfortable, I think. And then I... I'm not an ethnomusicology, and if I mis misuse the term, then it happens to me. I used to always say, instead of timbre, I'd say timber. No, you're not saying it right. Anyhow, um, but what I mean by that is, is that it sounded like the delay or something about the rhythmic uh, arrangement at the very beginning was kind of off-putting, like it wasn't locking. So it kind of made you feel a little kind of like, uh, to me, that's what dissonance does. Dissonance makes you go, uh. <laughs> And also the whole programming of it and the way that it's performed, it doesn't, I don't know why I should already know that all the Final Fantasy, um, the franchise or all the journeys of the games, and even though there might be an ode to, you know, themes throughout it all, that they do come in with different uh, ki types of music and compositions. But I will say that, um, um, God, that would be great if I can come to the concert in Las Vegas. And we all have a party. <laughs> I'll do a Twitch stream from Vegas. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Anyhow, um, but this this production and stuff just seems like it's a little out of the norm, I think. Um, but once again, I don't know what is norm when you have a franchise that starts in nineteen back in the nineteen hundreds and brings it to today. It's just a very unique kind of vibe and sound.
Uh, I'm sorry, I got to stop it before I go on there because, you know, the thing is, is if you listen to this, what's what that that vibe too? Uh, thank you so much for that uh, description, King Zut. I appreciate that. Um, but the vibe is there's something is wrong, something is not right. It doesn't mean that it's not right. I'm going to go back just about 15 seconds, and I want you to listen to some of the uh, pinged chord work that's happening, and it just it. I know it's not it's not I know it's not off key, but the the vibe is so. Whatever is happening here, which I don't know in gameplay, there's no two ways about it. This piece of music should be should manage to put you along with the visual in a very uncomfortable vibe or something. There's something very unique that's going on here, kind of like an under the skin kind of a thing. Like it gets you like it gets you under the skin. Let's listen to that and then I'll continue. <laughs> Trippy. I really like the guitar tone in this. It's like that clicking is like slightly ahead of the beat. Feel, it makes you feel like... And I guess this is a boss fight, so it'll work for that. You want to be made felt uncomfortable. It's an extremely creative track. if you made a face when that modulated almost like a stank face like
You know, um, very rarely in my life do I listen to a piece of music that I that I have to really even expand and broaden my my abilities to capture the arrangements as I did with this track. It was extremely unique and regardless of the awkward modulations and stuff and somebody who just said it um oh uh, it snows in uh, australia it well yeah there was definitely the key change but somebody had said it sounded like it was two tracks playing at the same time and you know what it definitely you know that it definitely had that feeling but through that tapestry of what the composer was doing and that really hard to settle in kind of vibe on that track kind of got it you know it, it might be like you know a flashback of like a bad bag of mushrooms for me or something but I kind of I figured there, there was there was a through line to it and sometimes here's the magic about um, Masioni Soken thank you the segmented the composers Masioni Soken you know sometimes the intention of, of music composition um, hits you at, like a ton of bricks even if you're having a difficult time trying to understand it I, I know that was probably me being four hours into a stream now going F my brain's melting but at the end of the day first of all that wouldn't have been released if it didn't work and if it didn't have a specific impact that the developers and the composers want to get out of it you know um, the, the unique combination between the sounds that the composers were using and like I even told you at the very beginning, I felt like, wow, what's going on with the rhythm patterns here? But it made the cut, it stayed on the game, and it's, it's got to be workable. It's, I, I, guess, I, I, I guess in a perfect world, I'd love to see how this was mixed in the game during gameplay. Like how, where's it sitting in the mix of the whole audio delivery? And then, you know, if this gameplay is a lot of noise of like, you know, um, swords hitting things and explosions and stuff that would be really interesting to me is I would have to look up maybe the cut scene to this track if there's such a thing if there's one up there just to get an idea of what that was because that was it was it was odd AF but but it kind of worked you know and um, hey Duncy best yeah, suggestions Thank you very much. I'll definitely screenshot your suggestion and hang on to it there because I'm getting ready to bail. Uh, but thank you so much for dropping by. Um, and I will be back on Wednesday. Yeah, you can tell, look, you see how my, my green screen is disintegrating? That's because I have um, <laughs> I have all these sunlights or su you know cuts in my roof. And as the sun sets, it messes around with the uh, chroma key. Now my, my whole green screen is melting behind me. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, if I look at the second video, whoops. Uh, you mean, the, uh, uh, you may say, hang on for a second. You're meaning this one. And I would have been able to watch it probably. Uh, I, I will. I, I'm actually going to go back and look at this because I've got to see how that worked. Um, anyhow, guys, listen, um, I got a bail. Thank you so, so, so much. Freaking four and a half hours. Are you kidding me? Um, that's just absolutely crazy. Um, but I got to go before I dissolve with the green screen. <laughs> I like that. Everybody's got such a great uh, sense of humor. Thank you guys so much, man. That's my longest stream by far. And um, I am going to edit out some things and all that. And I think in some time next week, I'm going to drop this whole thing up there. Just take out the, the cumbersome stuff. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you for those. Let me see if it was just drop really quick. If anybody dropped any extra cup of coffee for me uh, yeah I got a five dollar cup of coffee that came in thank you so much for that for those of you who followed whatever that um what was the name of that thing that person did when they when all those people came from the other streamer uh, I, I don't know what that was called but thank you so much for that that was absolutely sick I don't know how that worked the raid I don't know who raided me and how that worked but that was fantastic I'm just ecstatic that there's more than 10 people here tr to tell you the truth so anyhow, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your weekend. I'll be back here live uh, Wednesday again. And um, what else do I got? That's it. 
That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. You guys have a killer rest of your weekend. I know for some of you, it's already Sunday. <laughs> so you guys take care. I say to all of you, a big fat aloha. And I, I'm actually going to drink a cup of water and let some of the comments fill in because that's kind of part of my fun thing is at the very end. And I like to read the comments. I do that because I do that. You guys take care. All right. Wow. I'm still here. Yay. <laughs> For those of you who know that, I'm still here. <laughs> That's great. Ah, oh, shit. All right, guys. You take care of yourself. I'm just going to kick it on uh, my... Uh, let me t I'll kick it onto this thing here and let the comments run for a second, and I'll even just play that for a second. All right, guys. Take care. Have a killer day. All right.